Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to my channel for some live gameplay. It's 4.15 in the afternoon here in Japan. I've just gotten home from work, and it's time for me to start playing one of my favorite games in the world, Heyday, a gorgeous farming game. Now, as you can see from the beautiful picture there, we have got something wonderful in the game. And I know many of you have already purchased these, because I know I did. And I was very happy to see this decoration on Greg's farm, and then for the opportunity to be able to grab a couple of pieces. Now, you all know that I love dragons, and I like diamonds, but I'd rather just have the decoration. So I bought myself some. Good morning to you as well. Let's go have a look, shall we? There we go. Look, I've got some dragons in my family now. We have two beautiful Chinese New Year jade dragons and they're going to go wonderfully with my jade collection i've got these beautiful lucky envelope bushes and also the actual fans as well now each of these has a specific meaning behind them and in my video i did the other day i gave you that information but i do like them indeed stephanie hello by the way panel good to see you moscow and kaka hello as well by the way Good to see you as well. I must admit, I do like the decoration. It is very pretty indeed. And the person who came up with these ones spent quite a bit of time putting them together. I like the fact that they kind of sparkle and glisten and glow every now and then. So when you look at the decoration, they, they not only jump up, which is kind of cool, which is like a, a new thing with all of the decoration that we seem to be getting now, where they kind of jump and have a bit of a motion movement to a little bit more than like some of the older decoration definitely much more physically or physical movement should I say but uh, some of the old pieces not so much some of the new pieces a little bit more expansion and bounce to them which I like a lot more but either way very pretty indeed now hopefully you purchased some and if you didn't remember they're up in the store at the moment make sure you use one of your creator boost codes before you do purchase now in relation to this okay I'm not the only content creator so do pick and choose wisely but now so Ricky my mum is asking for your help on her game is she uh, where did I see her message or haven't I seen it yet so not a problem I will try my best to help as best as I can. Depends on what the help is. Is it down here in the, the request bar? Or is it something else? Right, now, before we get too far into this... Yeah, what I'm going to do is to just update you a little bit on Phoebe. Now, I've been posting some messages on my social media uh, about Phoebe's condition. Uh, and I've updated it recently on my Facebook page as well. So the other day I updated people say she's not been well and she's caught COVID. Now, because of having COVID, okay, uh, vaccination status is not important. Okay, but the fact that uh, her oxygen level dropped quite considerably and uh, when you have uh, an age disposition oxygen is definitely very important so basically she was um taken back to hospital now she had recovered slightly from hospital and they sent her for rehabilitation to help her get back into the flow and to be walking and moving around a little bit but I'm afraid when the oxygen level dropped, they took her back to the hospital and they got her on the high flow oxygen. Now, high flow oxygen is a critical stage for some people when they have COVID. It's not good. Uh, it's like one step down from like ventilators. So Phoebe's not well, everybody. She is actually going through a difficult condition at the moment. Okay, some people get COVID, not a problem. Other people get COVID, it knocks them for six. Um, so even though we may joke and we may have our views and opinions about it, it still does hurt people. You know, like most diseases and colds, like the flu, like any other activities where you might get sick. Now, I got a recent message for from 
my contact just to say that um, her level of oxygen has been correcting okay so it's a little bit better so they've been able to decrease the oxygen on the machine which is much much better I've actually spoken with Phoebe as well uh, through chats or she's left me a message uh, however there is another factor in the equation which I'm not uh, at liberty to divulge that's not for me to say at this moment in time uh, all I can say is that she's not out of the woods just yet so she's still very very serious condition uh, but she's fighting as she told in her comment to me so please still think about her she is reading the messages here uh, and it should be good by the way something's wrong with my YouTube see a red line thing uh, where do you see a red line thing you might see a red line thing below in my picture as an example that's just because it's on uh, Facebook at the moment Peter so on your iPad uh, that's very strange indeed where do you see the red line thing Peter that I don't know uh, all right my mum's email has been compromised and shut down by Microsoft and it's the email that is connected to her game says Pernell okay right um she needs to in-game message support uh, and let them know. So that's the best way to do it. She can change her email, but she has to contact support. So that's the update on Phoebe by everybody. Okay, she's not out of the woods yet. She's fighting her medical condition. Uh, so uh, as I get more information, I will get back to you with it. So I will let you know as soon as I can if there's more information on that side. But now, in relation to your mum, okay, uh, if her account has been compromised and Microsoft has shut it down, which is very annoying in many ways because they should give you the option to um, like change passwords and re get your account back because it's more than just that. So, I would contact Microsoft first of all uh, and talk to them about changing passwords and re establishing ownership of the account. Now, once you've done that, um, if you can get the account back, great. If you can't, then what you can do is in-game message support uh, and then talk to them about uh, account problems and then they can remove the email account from the farm uh, and then you just give them a new email account once you've saved it and it will save under a new email address. So it is possible to recover and get it back. So you won't have lost it. Michael, good morning as well, by the way. Right, so that's a bit of an update on Phoebe, and if you've got any messages for her, just post them on my social media. Uh, she is being given the messages, so she does see them, and thank you very much for everybody who's been expressing their concerns. Like I said, I might uh, comment about COVID itself as uh, being... humorous in some ways but not in other ways but it is still a serious problem for some people but either way yes life has to go on right what have we got in the chat okay all good down there so i've activated some boosters so i'm gonna go go collect some of these uh, a lot of you have commented on my farm design and said it's one of the better ones i've ever made well either that means my designing skills in the past sucked yeah, or you like this design so if so thank you very much okay mm, i did enjoy making this we did contact microsoft and they said they would get back to us as that was on sunday nothing has happened yet uh if they're going to get back to you, you know, they should get back to you basically microsoft is probably going to be slow uh but that was sunday well sunday was like many days ago so i would chase them up i would chase them up uh, and contact them on that one and say like, oh, wait, what are you doing kind of thing? Get your arse get your, your arse and go. Um, but yes, but please do so. Right, Mosca says, love the design. Thank you very much. I like it too. I like it too. I removed some of those trees I had down there. The old, all the old ones now are gone. So every tree I've got now is of the same basic stage and level and starting point. I shifted those ones that were in the center and moved them down here to create my little area. I've got my new deco I've just added in there, so I broke my design up slightly and had to rejig it to give my animals the ability to move around. Uh, but I do like it, I must admit. It was fun to make this one. 
but now I'm being told by my barn that my barn is full up and I need a bigger barn so I've got too much in there so I need to start serving and helping people and reducing my stories down or selling either is good now at the moment there's four days I've done this farm pass and I've still got a few more farm passes to do on my other farms collecting from my silo the silo is full up as well collecting from my machines my barn is full up as well so it's great it really is everything is kind of like chockers so here we go let's just load up and keep doing things Right, by the way, free decoration number four box in Greg's farm. I know you're getting a couple of decorations from Greg's. Um, so I know the whole listing for what's coming. So you should have, if you haven't already, collected another one of the three decorative pieces. So uh, there are quite a few items down there. Oh, I can't collect anything. Everything's full up. No, 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 no. My barn is full. That's not good. Okay, I'll go and empty it in a moment. But yes, there's quite a few items down there, deco-wise, that you can get, plus some other pieces. So yes. Right, by the way, free decoration, I read that one. Johnny said, I like it too. I always start to design, but then get bored with it. So I always admire people whose farms are so beautifully designed. It takes time. It really does, Jolin. It's not something that's easily put together. Uh, it does take a bit of time and energy, but it's definitely worth it. Um, I find it a lot of fun to have something that's a little bit more enjoyable to look at. Yeah, I just wish that I could have something that's even more enjoyable to look at, like a fully opened farm. But uh, that will be in the future. Oh, look, I only need another so many odd more of those, and I can open up some more land there. Let's have a look. Can I do any of these pieces? What I want to get is that this piece down here. Still got a long way to go there on that one. Can't do that one. Can't do that one yet. Can't do that one. We want to get to that with almost there. Uh, that one we can't do yet either. Let's have a look at the other pieces. No, no, no. Oh, close. How about these ones? Nope, not yet. No, well, we can do that one in seven more. If I get seven more pieces, I can do that. No, nope, not that one. How about this one? That's a big chunk. Oh, that's a lot. Yes, yeah, so much expansion to do. Oh my god, we got too much there. How about this side? What can I clear away? Can I do anything? Almost. Let's have a look. Nice big chunk there. Almost. We're getting close. We're getting close. I like it. We're getting close. Oh, we could do one. Yay, we've got one. Oh my god. Right, uh, I like it decoration because that's his diamond pack deco. It is BR, yes. You've got one brand new deco and uh, some uh, previous existing deco as well. Yeah, so it's nice the fact that we've actually got new deco that's been added into the game. So I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm kind of happy that Heyday has done that for players uh, because it makes it more beneficial indeed. So it's good. It is really nice. In fact, let me go down and collect my pieces. So uh, I think I'm not sure what box I'm up to now. Hang on. Let me go collect those first. So there's box number six there. Can I do that one? No. So it's got to be anything from five backwards. There we go. There's number five. So there's number five, which is puzzle pieces. So we go click that one. I like puzzle pieces. And then there's box number four somewhere. Where's number four? Did I do four? I can't remember. I'm going to take that one as well. Four, 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 four. There's box number four. And there's the beautiful Drayed. Deco. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I like that one. And did I do number three? No, I didn't do number three. Let's have a look. There we go. Screws on three. That's not so good, but I'll still take it. Screws three. Better than nothing. And number two, I think I did. Number one, I think I did. So we're good on that side. Hmm. I want this one. This one down here. Box number eight. That's going to be the good one. That is going to be the good one in Indeed. So pin the codes. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Simon, hello, by the way, and welcome. Yeah, I like free deco, like you. I do like free deco. Well, we've had these pieces now, so we know what those ones are from. There's no more other surprising deco down there. We know from the event that we're doing, we're going to be getting the tea. So Greg's Farm will give us that tea one later, which will be the last box. 
So, I am kind of happy about that one. All I really need now is to get Greg's special deco, uh, which I haven't got yet, which is those pieces there, which is so unfair. Yeah. And then at some stage, I need to get a few more pieces, but um, oh well, we come back later. Uh, are we allowed to send Phoebe some Get Well cards? Why not, Sir Peter? Go for it. Um, I would send her a Get Well card. Um, if I were in America, I'd probably send her flowers as well, if I knew her address. But uh, um, for me to send them to Japan, I'm still trying to sort that one out, yes. So, yeah, I'm thinking of doing it. So, sending her some flowers. Damn. Um, not sure what would be good flowers. I wonder what she likes. Yeah. So I was thinking about that earlier. Uh, when I came home, I was walking past the flower shop. Oh, I could send Phoebe some flowers. wonder if they take them. So should I send them to the hospital to her, to her house? I don't know. But um, yes, either way, I really hope she gets better soon. And I mean that. I really do. So Being sick is not cool. It really isn't. And touch would I stay that way. So I've had family members who've been ill and recovered. Um, I've had family members in the past who have had serious illnesses and recovered. So I always pray that someone who does get sick gets better. I've got my own medical issues, which uh, will probably kill me one day. But um, hopefully that will be a little bit further down the line. Yeah. And not so soon, but uh, I've been lucky. I caught my medical problem early. So I just have to have treatment. So that keeps me alive, which is nice. Uh, Peter, you can message me to get them to her. Hairs, have you popped in to see her or visit her by any way? Uh, Ricky, I thought so too, Hez. I don't. Uh, I think maybe because of uh, her situation, I'm not sure if they would. Uh, like I said, I can't tell you everything, but uh, yes. But uh, I'm. I was thinking earlier when I passed the flower shop. Oh, I could send her some flowers. So I'm just trying to think which flowers to send Phoebe that would make her laugh or something like that. So may, maybe some lilies. So something like that could be good. What have we got? Let's go and have a look at the flowers from within the game. What can what would be a good idea maybe to send her? Uh, I kind of like these flowers down here. They look very pretty indeed. So maybe I should send her uh, some red lilies. They might be good. They look pretty. I can accept friend request if there's one. I think I've already done your Simon. I just did it. Yes. I love getting flowers both at home and in the hospital. Ricky, do you have bolts for me, please? I might do. I think I probably can help you out. You just need four, yes? I might be able to do that one. Yeah, I should send her some lilies. I love lilies. I think they're gorgeous. Yeah, maybe I should send her some of those. Or maybe the white lilies would be good. Hmm. Yeah, I think she would appreciate those. Four bolts. I can do that, I think. Let's have a look. Do I have any bolts? Yeah, I got some bolts. There you go. I'll be generous today, so put those on sale. And they're in the last stalls for you now. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Lovely. She is not allowed to have visitors right now, but uh, I will be once she is clear to. Uh, at the moment, yes, no visitors has, so yes. So, how far are you from her, Hez? Yes. So how far? I know you're in the same area as such, but how far? So how close are you to her? Uh, could I get you on your friends list? If you go to the top of the chat, where there's a pinned comment, the Riptide, there is a load of codes there for my farms. You're welcome to add me to any one of those if you would like to. Uh, I do accept friend requests. Um, and there's space there as long as you can add me. So once the space fills up, then it's kind of like, sorry, that's it for the moment. Right, and uh, I'm under now for my... Okay, not so bad. 
Okay. Uh, do you have nine nails? However, can you do it a little bit cheaper because I only have 12,200 left? Okay, right. Simon, uh, I would worry less about the nails and more about making items. Uh, if you've basically got no money to be able to afford expansion, uh, please actually work on making money, not so much trying to upgrade um, at whatever stage you are. If you literally only have 1,200 left up, then I would work more on money not so much on uh, expanding your machines or whatever else just yet. You need the coinage, so it's much more important to do that. And Riptide said, and very nice wishes from Austria. Well, hello to Austria. <laughs> Let's go get myself some money. Yeah. Rich, I welcome. I'm from Slovakia, says Moscow. He is. He's just down the road. Hmm. Yes. I'm quite a bit far from most of you guys. I'm all the way over the oceans and across the world in Japan. So, nice place to live. If you ever get a chance to visit, please do so. Hmm. Bricky, hello as well, by the way. And by the way, today's stream will be very relaxed. Uh, I will probably be stopping about 7.30 as well. Um, to, uh, we're only really streaming for so many hours. So, hello, Connor says, I'm from California. Hello, Connor. Be careful of the ocean, dear. I understand that uh, you're in a very dodgy earthquake zone, and one day California will fall into the ocean, making a beautiful beachfront set of properties for people. So... Do take care. Hmm. Right, so Bricky says hello. Mm -hmm. I love that name, Bricky Brit. That's cool. So, Ricky, did you get the Great Wall? I got the tiny wall of China. Yes, I did. Absolutely. You know me. I'm always going to get the, the Valley Deco. So there it is. The Great Wall of China. Located there down. Yes, 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 yes. It's a little bit on the small side. And I must admit, I would like to have seen a bigger Deco. Um, no offense to the design team, but I think they could have made that one a little larger. Yeah. Like, it gets hidden amongst all of my other deco. Now, if I compare my Great Wall of China to my uh, lucky deco down there, it's tiny. It's tiny. It really, really is. It needs to be bigger. Yeah, but I do like it, though. So I like all the deco and it fits nicely in with my design as well, which is good. So, yes, I'm happy on that side. <laughs> right, Ricky, anyone got a good neighborhood for me to join? My hoodies sadly aren't helping me out and lacking in Derby. I'm giving so much and not much in return. Uh, I can't help you on that one, but uh, maybe in the chat somebody else can. Um, mm, mm, mm. Thought it was very, very small. Everybody thinks it's very small, yes. Riptide says, could you show your favorite farm from your friends just because I need ideas? Oh, that's a very challenging question. There are many farms down there on my friends list, both in both friends books. Oh, my game just crashed. What happened, Heidi? So, we just had a little bit of a problem there. That wasn't good. What happened? Okay, we're back again. Did anything change? I don't know. I hate it when things crash. I don't know if something's gone or I missed out on something or whatever else. Okay, well, let's just collect that one. Oh, well. Uh, Rick Tiny really depends on your style. It does indeed. Yes, BR says hello to Bricky and vice versa. Uh, Heyday can also do the Taj Mahal. That would be nice. Uh, Strip said Supercell should also include decos from India too. There's a strong possibility, Strip, that there will be an Indian decoration added in. Yeah. 
I can't disclose any information about the future because I don't know everything. Yeah. But with the amount of deco that's being added, I'd love the Taj Mahal. But I want it to be big. I don't want it to be tiny. Yeah. No offense, like a heyday team, I love the deco designs, but if that wall were much, much bigger, I could have so much fun designing. Uh, if they gave me a Taj Mahal style building, you know, that beautiful building, uh, then I could use that as a nice centerpiece for design, place waters and path pieces coming around it. I could have so much fun making the full design imagery. Um, it really could be. You know, like, look at the size of the bell with the dragon compared to these pieces. Like, it's minute. Even my peacock is bigger. It really is. But I did see a nice picture of the gorilla climbing it the other day, which was kind of good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We are German, but we are very good at Derby, says Riptide. Okay. There's a German team for you to join, Riptide. Right, uh, if only I speak English in the chat, guess what level's required? I'm 85. Okay. So I've had a few questions. Well, that was my first one today. I had an issue the other day with my actual ro my uh, boat, but uh, Heyday said that was a rare bug, and then they've got my details, yes. Right, Ricky, can, Ricky, can you share your code here? Yep, share your codes, guys, if you want to. Share codes each other, so it's better. It needs to be about uh, twice the size in my... I think so, too, Hez. I do, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. It's so hard to fit big deco into an exciting farm design. Well, case by case, though, Pernil. Uh, I think sometimes if you've got a bigger piece, like if I think of, as an example, my town. Yeah, like in my town, I have these buildings. These buildings would be a good size for decoration. If I had deco that came as the same size of these buildings, oh my God, I could have so much fun. I really, really could. Um they're the right size to be enjoyable and to be used and for making something. Um, I, I wish I had more deco that was kind of like the same size that I could blend around it and modify. Like even putting smaller and bigger deco next to it, it's still cool. Right, I'm up to 22 of 36. I got my five puzzle pieces the other day as well. I can't wait for the next one, uh, which will be very soon indeed. So 10 puzzle pieces. In fact, the next set of boats event is coming up today, which will be lovely, jubbly indeed. I cannot wait on that one. Ricky, what does a peacock eat? Can you show me? Okay, hang on a second. There is a post on my social media that gives all of the information, but I can go through it in a moment. So hang on a second. Let me just send these to the buildings because very soon they will switch over and I want to try and get something out of the ones I can do. Uh, ah, you guys are so awesome. Let me get my tag. A team moat to the bent bars. I know. I got my diamonds ready. Yes, my products are in my roadside store or in my shop as well. Probably not going to be enough as I found with my last set of five puzzle pieces. But yeah, we're well, give it a go. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Send all those away. Let's go do the buildings. Do that one. We do that one. We can do that one. Can't do that one. We can do that one. Next building. Grocery store. Not that one. Here we go. Gift shop. Yay. Look at that all going in there. Oh, that looks beautiful. Another one down there. And there we go, there we go, there we go, and request on that one, there we go, there we go. Yeah, some request if you want to come and fill it. Ooh, that looks like an easy one to do. Yep, 18 minutes till the boat event starts. 16 minutes now, if you're counting down. So, definitely. I don't think I got any goat's milk down there. Yes, I do. There we go. Let's load it up. So, my next boat is a regular boat. So, we might as well speed that up, I think. Let's get the next boat down there. Get that one ready. Ah, 
Ricky, town folks ready, said Moscow. Thank you very much. Do you have any bread, please? That I don't know. Give me a chance to have a little check. My townies need doing first. They have the priority for me. Let me have a little shifty. There we go. And I think that's all of them now, isn't it? Let me double check. Waiting. All done and dusted. Right. Let's go pick up some passengers. I'm trying to finish the visit before the boats come. Well, I just collected a load, which was nice. Um, it's a shame I can't get more done before then, but um, all is good. There we go. Do, 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 do. I need more trains. Hey, Day, please, please, this year, give me more trains. Next time I have a meeting with Hey, Day, uh, which hopefully will be very soon, I'm going to make some strong requests on Deco for this year. I don't think we should get new machines. I don't think we should get new products. Actually, no, products will be fine. Um, expand in some areas. I think Hey, Day, this year should focus on decoration. I really do. I would love for Heyday to remodify the store, to update the deco and give us brand new deco options. If they could do that, uh, I think that would be so much more wonderful. And I believe that it would resolve a lot of issues with people complaining that Heyday is just pay to play with deco now. Uh, and I must admit, even I do feel that way sometimes. You know, I feel that the deco that we get in the game, there's a nice occasional new piece, but the only new deco that we seem to get the most of now is if you buy it for real money. And I don't want that. I want new items added in the shop as well that I can get and have. So I'm hoping that uh, we will have more added this year uh, with a bigger focus on Deco. That's my wish. I think Hey Day is adding seven wonders of the world. They are adding quite a few pieces down there, so the Deco's nice. Maliga, hello, by the way, and welcome. And you've got a monkey in my chat as an imagery there. So, hmm. Does that mean maintenance is up and coming? I wonder. <sighs> yes. Yeah, a year of deco and revamping would be good. It really would. Okay, that's lots done for the moment. Next one, what have we got down there? We've still got a bit more time to go, so we go do that one. That boat is arriving now, so we can get some of the crates done. Mm. However, it's not a puzzle boat, which is fine. So we go load up these and get it ready. Do, 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 do. And I got lots of XP, which is wonderful. So I can take all of those. And I could do that boat. That was nice. It really was. So we hold off there for the moment. We only need another 12 minutes to the next boat. We get ready. Right, please don't spam my channel with YouTube emoji. I don't like it. And if you spam, I'm afraid you get timed out. So please don't do that. It's annoying. It really, really is. Uh, it. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you in timeout for the moment. This is your first warning, Maliga. All right, please don't spam the emoji. One emoji is okay. A couple of emoji, different emojis, fine, but multiple emojis of the same thing. It actually hides all of my messages, and I can't see what people are saying. So please, the chat for me is more important for being able to see what people write. Uh, I want to see what people are writing, and then I can respond back. Spamming emoji... If one or two, okay. Too much, please don't do. Okay, that's a polite request from me. Uh, so take that into consideration. Right, what have we got? Uh, do you have bread? Oh, I don't know. You did ask. Hang on, let me have a look. So, all my machines have moved around now. I don't know where everything is anymore. I got so used to everything. Let's have a look. I don't have a lot of bread. I got five pieces left, so I can give you those five. Uh, so I can give you some. Yeah, we go. I got some bread down there. I think five pieces, it said. Do, 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 do. Where are they? There we go. Five pieces. Added. 
Yes. Uh, Ricky, you might have to attain a tiny spike in subscribers about three days ago. I was hanging out with friends and made them all subscribe to you. Did you? Well, are they beautiful, single? Are they rich or ladies? And if so, if they're older than me, I'm looking for a sugar mama. If they're younger than me, then... I don't mind being the king and being looked after. So thank you very much. I hope they come back and watch. I really do. Yes. So when they heard the sound of my voice, did they go like, oh my God, he sounds so nice. Okay, Kushik said, do we get a new dairy machine like Sugar Mill in the next time update? I don't know. I really do not know. I have zero information about any future updates because it's too early. Uh, no, still too early, yes. Beautiful but not single, sorry. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. I don't mind if they've got husbands to drive them around, that's okay, or boyfriends. Um, just remember that Valentine's is coming up and they need to donate towards buying me beautiful chocolates. I am a chocolate eater, I love my chocolates, so yes. Yeah, I like chocolates. Mm, 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 mm. In fact, I got a Valentine's card in the post today from Lynn. So I went to the post office today after my work, and uh, there was a, a post or a letter there with a Valentine's on the back. Do not open till Valentine's. Yes. Uh, Ricky, I think uh, I think you forgot what I asked for. I probably did. I can't remember now. So what did you ask for? Dragon Lady's going to get me and said, T-Puff, i got dragons down here now. i got two new dragons. Oh, I love this. I do. Yeah, I'm so happy about that as well with the fireworks. Mm. Uh, Shrimp, what did you ask for? I can't remember now. You have to tell me a game. Mm. Mosca, bro, you good. If you want to go faster, I need to stuff them on my people. Yeah. Well, yes and no, Simon. Um, sometimes it's actually easier to make the stuff and get it as well. But uh, trust me, you don't want to be... Well, actually, rushing is okay as well. Like, some people do rush the game. But for me, rushing the game is not a benefit. I like to take it slow and steady. But a lot of new players tend to rush it and then get frustrated because the game becomes slow when they need to start doing things or they run out of money too soon or they get frustrated. So please be careful. Like, rushing is good sometimes, but the slow path is sometimes better as well. It really is. By the way, Ricky, you look different without the moustache. I know, but it's growing back a little bit. So when I go home tonight, I'm going to shave again. I found it actually a little bit more comfortable wearing the masks as well recently as well. Because um, so, like, the school where I work is really, really hot. Um, and um, it's uncomfortable when there's no ventilation. So yes. Do you still play Everdale? Yes, I do. Do I play Everdale all the time? So hang on, let me show you. So Everdale, Everdale, Everdale. This one's my Everdale here. I do that every day. I like it. So this is mine. We have reverence. So we have reverence, and that's our team. And we've got people playing in there as well. Ooh, I need to go send those. Hang on. We need a person there first. Let's go do that one. So get that one going. Assign village out. There we go. Send that one now. There's 12 or 12 done. We're finishing time, which is good. And I need some more indigo. So we go back down there. Stick there for another couple of hours. And beautiful. So that's mine. And uh, that's my little like a uh, village itself. So nicely laid out. I like it. Sure. <laughs> camera mode oh my god i wish hey they had this i really do this is one addition from everdale that i think is absolutely gorgeous the ability to look at the design from a different perspective move around and see the buildings and then focus on the different designs that you've got or go into different areas uh, and then just enjoy 
uh, even like watching the animals and the servers and bits like that uh, just from a different angle uh, is fantastic uh, I really wish that Heyday had this as an option I really do uh, if Heyday were ever to introduce that as a feature, uh, I would be so happy indeed. I really would. Bricky said, I actually rushed uh, and no money for machines. Yeah, rush is not always good. Sometimes okay, sometimes not okay. Depends on what you need to do, though. That's the key thing. But, uh, yes, first man past the post is not always a benefit. Not really. Yeah, my uh, one is actually full at the moment. Wendy, I found Ricky. Malinga said, Ricky, my code is da da da. Okay. What's that one for, Malinga? I don't understand. So, 63289. What is this code? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's the biggest request. Uh, but yeah, it really is. I would love to see it. Yes. Ralphie said test. Okay, so Ralphie, what is a test for? Mm, do you want me to ask you a question? Okay, Ralphie, here's a question. How long is the Great Wall of China? So, how long is the Great Wall of China? There's your first test question. Can you answer it? And if you're not sure, go watch my video because I give you the information in the video because I like this new style of videos I'm making. Ricky, peacock, please. Okay. Ah, peacock food. That was it. Yes. Okay. You want to know about my peacock food? Okay, right. Hang on a second. Now, if you come to my Facebook page, and we go to my Facebook page, boom, 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 and then we go to Ricky's profile, and then we come down to my photos, and then we come down to my albums. Oh, look at that photo. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I want these. If I could get these full-size animals, uh, I wonder if I could do a giveaway. Who would like to win one? That would be great. All right, we come down to the peacocks. There we go. And there's the peacocks. And here is a list of their food. So peacocks need the following items. They need soya beans, bell peppers, carrots, cabbage, strawberries, sunflowers, rice, fish, sesame, uh, broccoli, and watermelons. So uh, that is the answer to your question. Now, in relation to down here, if I come down here and show you, you can see all of those. So you can pick and choose which one you want. Now, let's just say as an example, I'm going to choose a watermelon is too expensive. I'm going to give it some so uh, soya beans. There we go. One soya bean. Now, you'll notice what you've got to do is scroll through. Uh, all the food disappears. And then it all comes down to the last whistle there. But if you click off and you click on, the whistle comes back as a single item. Yeah, and then it's so much better on that as well. And where is my peacock? There he comes. He's racing towards my feet. Yes. So there you go. That's the peacock. It's a lot of food. All different kinds. You can pick and choose. Yeah. Rick said, Wendy's Garden, the health channel series here with the gift. It's one of my favorite farms I've seen. I keep trying to change mine, but I get stuck on what to do. Wendy said, I spend a lot of time rearranging. Yeah. Redesigning and rearranging is good fun indeed. But it does take a lot of effort sometimes. So that is the only downside when it comes to certain activities. Okay. We must be very close to... This next one, 1 minute 52 seconds, almost there. La -da 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 -da. Milk, 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 I like that. I wish I was doing another sanctuary, I do. And I've got my other farms to finish off as well soon, so I've got to go and get those ones done before the farm pass runs out. If you grow the produce, you will wake dollars and then level up in a good speed, especially during the farm pass. Very much so, yes. You don't have to buy the farm pass, um, but you can still get all of the benefits out of it. You don't have to rush it either. Like I still haven't finished all of my farm passes, uh, but I will get the rewards before it's over. So that's, of course, if the tasks come up nicely. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, what do we got? 50 seconds, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. We lost 45. Did you notice that? There was no 45. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32. There's no 32. We're losing seconds. 25. There's no 25. 3, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. I lost 12. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one boom zero let's come out go over there and we come back again and we have a brand new event tom goes back to sleep we we'll spin the wheel yeah did you notice some of the seconds would disappear i am currently spamming wheat on my fields that's good i got a diamond ring i can get married now hmm the game is broken. We've lost seconds. Did you notice that? <sighs> I almost got the path piece. Okay, still nothing on the board. Come on, let's go out and come back. Okay, they got the board, so it should be there now. Yay, puzzle pieces again. Right, so five boats. Let's go do that one. Send it on its way. Here we go! Here we go! There's an invisible timer. Yeah, we get that boat coming. Let's go do it. Bring on the boats. Bring on the boats. Bring on the boats. Tom, go back to sleep. You're not necessary. My Tom is broken. Right, we are up to... Do, 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 do. 22. So that would make me 27 of 36. I can do that. Bring on the boats. There is an invisible timer. Eat an animal in your farm. There he is. I was surprised there's time missing. I'd have to report that one. I have to let the heyday team know their clock is broken. I lost time. And time is important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I got a booster, which is even better. So, yay. Okay. Lovely. Let's go do dish. One, two, three, and four. Sorry, everybody. I'm going to keep all those points to myself. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Today I'm drinking Rui Boss tea. It's nice. Um, I like this one. I've bought a couple recently. My local convenience store does it. Mm. I drank too much coffee today, so I don't want to drink anymore. Today I had, uh, I think they said it was ir like Iranian coffee, maybe. So um, I was surprised. But um, I enjoyed it. It was nice. No offence to people from Iran, if it was. Um, I've had better, though. But I did enjoy it. Right, what have we got down here? Show sure. Caramel Latte. I need 246. So we're going to request on these ones. There we go. And I need that one, that one. And I need peanuts. Okay, let's go get some peanuts. Do three donations. There we go. Peanut noodles in the wok kitchen. I can't believe I don't have any. Where's my wok? There we are. There's my wok. I moved it. There we go. Peanuts. That's right. We need the rice noodles. Where did I put my rice noodle machine? Where are you? Where did I put it? Where did I put it? There we go. And I need more rice. <laughs> there we go. Lovely.
Lots of Romeos when I loved South Africa. Very popular. It's a nice drink. I did enjoy it. Uh, very refreshing. So, Pernod, I like it. Uh, this is cold tea, Koshi. So, this one's cold. It's in a bottle. The brand is Afternoon Tea, uh, which is a popular brand out here for certain different flavoured teas. Um, and this one is Rubios. They also do an Earl Grey one, which was very nice as well. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. Now I just need a slight donation. Thank you, too. Thank you. And people need some help there, too. So there we go. We got another puzzle boat done. That's two. Lovely. We request the next boat. And while I'm waiting, Uncle Pools needs some help. Can't do that one. That's a shame. But I can do the boat. Maybe yes. And yes, there we go. XP is good. There's a chest down there, which is nice. I like that. And anything else? Not that I can see. Next person. Peanut noodles. That was me. Okay. And Sed's farm. What does Sed need? Nothing. Ah, help. Freebies. Yay, I like that one. XP, good. And green lady. Sorry about the spelling mistakes. Don't know what happened with autocorrect today. That's okay. My, I always make spelling mistakes and I'm a teacher. So, not a problem. So sometimes we make mistakes. It's good. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, the boat is arriving. It is coming soon. We will be able to do a little bit more. Mm -mm -mm. What do we want? One of those, and one of those, and one of those, and request, request, and request, and then really, okay, one of those, and one of those, and one of those. There we go. And I better get some more on the go then. Broccoli, okay. My resources, no, never have enough. Mm -hmm. That's your code up there. Okay. There you go. What's your favourite diamond pack so far, says Riley. That's a difficult question, Riley. There's a lot of very nice deco packs and they're all very enjoyable. Um, do I have a specific favourite one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really feel that I have one deco pack that's very nice. Um, there's a lot of beautiful deco. In fact, I think there's so much now, it's hard to say which one is my favourite. Uh, but I do like them all, and I wish I could get more deco. I really do. Uh, more deco I get, the happier I will be with the game. Mm, but that's down to a heyday to give us more deco. And hopefully one day they will definitely do so. You mean from the Chinese New Year deco? Ah, okay. Well, yeah. I like the dragons. I think the dragons are good. John, oh, hello, by the way. From this deco pack, I think the dragons are gorgeous. They really do. So, I like those a lot. I could have a lot of fun with those. Mm. Even the fans look nice. The fans would be good with uh, a Japanese design as well. So I could enjoy mixing that in later if I wanted to. Let's go have a look. That one's been done. Thank you very much. You got lots of XP, so did I. Dragons are good. I like the dragons a lot. I think they're a nice deco indeed. And you know what? I think that actual tree there is causing me problems to get in. So I'm going to shift it around. Uh, what I might do is shift a smaller one over there 
and shift the bigger one back over there. Well, maybe lose the bigger one could be nicer. Unless I can find somewhere it can go. Mm, that would be a good place for big tree. Oh, that would be good actually. Yes, that would work nicely. There we go, and I can tap it now. That's better. She said that uh, adding you was difficult, Simon. It's not seemed to be working. So she's typed her code into the chat. Brad, hello, by the way. Right, I got no bread now since I sold it to you. So I'm going to have to make some because I need it. So, there we go. Let's keep it going. Then I can do some of these ones down here that need to be done. There we go. Lovely. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm good, thank you. Ricky, as a teacher, do you work on people's spelling? I do. I'm always forever correcting them. So please type U when you spell color. It's C-O-L-O-U-R. Um, and when you spell customize, okay, again, you've got to use this letter, not this letter. Um, so yes, I do. But at the end of the day, it depends on the lesson. If it's a writing-based lesson, I focus more on the grammar first of all. Now, actually, no, I don't do the grammar first of all. I tend to do what they're trying to say first of all. So, Tracy, hello, by the way. If they're trying to say a certain thing and what they're saying doesn't make sense because it's like not dumb uh, in a way that is useful or understandable, then I work on that first. Once I've worked on that, then I can work on their, their vocabulary and their grammar. Then once I've done that, I can work on spelling. So it's more about the thing. Brad, I saw your message. You said you'd like to chat on Discord. So I haven't seen what you've written since I responded to you on that one. So is Brad your real name or do you have another name? Yeah, nothing wrong with me spelling, says Peter. Well, Peter, at the end of the day, as long as the first two, the first letter and the last letter are correct, uh, and uh, the rest of the letters within the actual thing itself are correct, then it's easy to understand. Let me give you an example. So, da -da 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 -da. Mm, that's fine. Yeah. So here's an example. So at the end of the day, when it comes down to spelling, spelling is not such the issue. It's the beginning, last letter. Your mind does everything. So as an example, it says only smart people can read this. It doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The important thing is that the first and last letter be in the right place. And I always thought spelling was important. So very, very easy to read. When you've got something like this as an example, um, it, it, you, you, as long as you can recognize the first and the last, everything else does it. Um, reading is often about recognizing letters together uh, and knowing the pronunciation. So those are the key things. Uh, even the ones uh, like this one as an example, let's bring it up. So there we go. So like uh, 
if you can read this you have a strange mind too can you read this only some people can uh, I couldn't believe that I could actually understand what I was reading the paranormal or phenomenal power of the human mind according to research at Cambridge University it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are the only important thing is that the first and last letter be in the right place the rest can be a total mess and you can still read it without a problem this is because the human mind does not read every letter by itself but the word as a whole amazing uh, yeah and I always thought spelling was important if you can read this share it so easy easy peasy indeed so I like reading spelling mm. say color uh, right, Ricky, can you please check this score, please? I do not rate her. Hydro said there's a lot of mistake. Can I try to correct them? Well, your choice. Man. At the end of the day, depends on what you're looking at. Like I said, when it comes down to my students' uh, written work, like someone says uh, we're doing email practice, uh, I look at the message that they want to send, and then I teach them how to send it in the correct way first of all, like uh, reducing down certain number of words or reordering the sentences and changing the message style. Um, then once I've done that with them, then we start focusing on the vocabulary and the grammar. Then we start focusing on the spelling. So it depends on the topic. Right. Uh, Peter, color is the UK spelling. It is. Yeah. C O L O U R. Absolutely. Color's not a uh, color. So, color. Um, do you have students from the USA that would use color instead of color? Um, at the end of the day, Peter, my company is an American-based company. Um, I work for a company that is American. It's owned by a Japanese company now, uh, but originally, no. Uh, so it uses um, American English in all of their ma manuals and textbooks and student books that they make so whenever in the past I've had to make material for my company I've had to change my British spelling to American spelling so what I normally do is I change over the settings from uh, British to American and then it highlights all of my English words that are spelt correctly and it now says they're spelt incorrectly and I have to go through and change every single one so every time I type a uh, color and then it says no this is wrong I have to change it back it's annoying but my company wants American English spelling on its materials however uh, some of the best textbooks in the world are made with British English so third party material is uh, not American English it's British English well not really no Peter at the end of the day it doesn't cause me any issues at all because I know there are differences in language uh, color is not wrong okay you spell it c-o-l-o-r I spell it c-o-l-o-u-r both are okay it's not a problem it's the same as saying like often and often I say often um, other people say often the T is not pronounced uh, tomato tomato they're just different ways of saying the same thing um, Aluminium, aluminum, okay, they're just differences, that's all at the end of the day. It's the same with slang and other expressions, there were just differences. I, I don't stress it because there's no need to. So. Yeah. And then like uh, Tracy says, there were different words that relate to different things. Daisy, hello as well, by the way. Nice to see you here as well. Yeah, nice to see you here as well. Right, let's continue. Let's load up some more machines. What have we got? So we need some more of the smoothies. And I'm out of berries now. And I've got, no, I only got a few left. Okay, let's go do those. Might as well get them all growing in sync. Yes. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Take some more of those. And then we're going to need some more honey soon. Take a smoothie down there as well. That's nice. Okay, so some, uh, can you tell anything new coming in the game? Sorry, Kerry, no. Um, 
All I can tell you, Kerry, is soonish. So soonish, I will be able to tell you what's coming. So like with decoration for the deco packs, I know what's coming. I have all of the information on my computer. So if you could see my computer, you'd be like, whoa, I like that. Oh, my God, I want that. Oh, you are lucky. You know this information. Like, I know what's in the Chinese New Year packages. I know what's coming for Valentine's. Uh, I know the whole schedule for the whole year for all events, farm passes and decorations. Uh, I know when updates are going to happen, but I don't know what's in the update because that's not finalized yet. Um, I know many things, but I'm afraid what I know and what you can know is not the same. So it's kind of like I know you have a credit card, but you will not tell me your PIN number or your credit card number. Um, so certain things you just don't disclose or you're not allowed to. So I can't tell you that one. Sorry. Um, closer to the time, I will let you know the information uh, as I am allowed to. Uh, but this far in advance sorry my lips are sealed however um, if you want to bribe me I like chocolates uh, I like flowers yeah, I like shoulder massages so I've got a stiff shoulder at the moment so if you want to come here and give me a shoulder massage I might be able to uh, whisper the words silently but uh, at the moment the only thing I can disclose is And this is a big secret, okay? Soonish. <laughs> eh, I'm a bad man. Yep. They're doing third vaccines in Japan now. Uh, my students today that I had, I was teaching four ladies. Three of them have had their uh, booster vaccinations already. And um, um, so I haven't yet. So I haven't had the postcard to say, come and get it done. Right, I have all three. I'm getting my third shot, my booster shot Sunday. Um, yeah, I still need to think about it. You see, I had the Moderna for the first two. Uh, one for my job and two for the option to travel overseas. Um, it's, uh, but um, I've been very lucky as well. I've not got sick or whatever else, so we'll see. <laughs> Tracy says I have to have the boost up. When you're conditioned, Tracy, yes. So, yes. Ah, thank you very much again. There we go. Another one done. First to a mandatory, yes. Okay, yeah. we've done the puzzle boats, and that's it now. We've got another five puzzle pieces. I like that. Nice and easy. Lovely. Here we go. We're now up to 27 of 36. So I only need nine more. I only need nine more. Yes. Yeah. And then I am done. And that'll be good. While I'm here, let's go feed. There we go. One, two. I'm going to need some more buckets soon, aren't I? Better make some more of those. Yeah. Keep it going, no, and cinema, yes, now we have a look, there we go, I think that's all now, isn't it, perfect, yes. Uh, I'm kind of a group that was able to get booster after one month, don't have any booster yet, don't want it yet, um, mm. 
Yeah, for some of our work, we have to. For other work, we don't have to. Do you have any cotton, Ricky, for fabric for me, Ricky? I'm not sure. I don't know. I've not really looked at all of my machines yet. I'm slowly working my way through doing some of them. So give me a moment to find out what I can and can't do. And then I will update as I can. So. <laughs> Okay. How long before he's ready? Another 39 minutes. There's a glitch in the matrix on that. Yeah, we got plenty. We need creams there still. So we get a couple of those on the go. Do those ones too. Nice. There we go. Can get some more of these on the go since we need them and we had none earlier. Yeah, lovely. Ah, uh, ever heard of a big M? Okay, not sure what that one means. I was five months hence and they started to four months and now three. Making a cup of who wants one? Yes, please. I'll take a cup of coffee. Actually, no, I better not. I've had too much coffee today. Whew. My head will be spinning. Better stick with the tea. I got a lot of cakes, haven't I? Let's use that one, get rid of some resources. There we go, lovely. It'll be like the flu, we have to keep getting it to make sure it's effective. Basically, yes, but I haven't had a flu vaccination in years. Um, I know what goes in the flu vaccination from talking to some of the people. Um, yeah. So... And the flu vaccinations are basically hit and miss when it comes to them anyway. So if that actual one comes up, you're lucky. If it's another one, well, then you're unlucky. So, <laughs> But yep. Tetley tea bags. Tetley's okay. But PG tips is better though, Trace. PG tips is better. Tetley's nice, but PG tips, that's the way to go. So you should know that. So PG tips all the way. Um, I did Moderna, not Pfizer. I have the oldest home because of all this, and they're so mad he cannot go to school, but he is immunocompromised. Are you doing lessons online with Zoom, Gnome Hez? Like my friend, um, she works at a public school, um, and I was chatting with her recently, and she says that because some of her students are off, they're doing uh, Zoom classes. So some of the kids are in the school and some of the kids are online studying at the same time. It's definitely a very interesting technique for us out here to have to experience this. But I think in Australia, because of the differences, uh, I think maybe you guys have more experience with online kids' classes uh, over greater distances. Um, but uh, here, like it was always like kids go to school and then if they were sick, they didn't study from home. But with new technology now, giving kids laptops uh, to use at home uh, or using their parents if they don't have one uh, and then logging in with Zoom and joining the lesson, so much more enjoyable. I think in the future that all school classes will have a big screen like a TV screen at the back of the room uh, for students to be able to join in the lesson. I think that would be wonderful. Really do think that would be a great way to go. So I would love to work in a class like that. Well, I'm sitting in the room and like uh, some of my kids are there and some of the kids are like uh, on the screen and I'm teaching them all at the same time. Our schools go back next week. They're saying kids will have to take rapid antigen tests twice a week, but they are trying to make a uh, good needle in a haystack. And you cannot meet demand. Daisy, I'm really surprised. Like for us here in Japan, when COVID first started, uh, excuse the conversation, conversation, everybody, by the way. Uh, Ricky, come on. Yorkshire tea is the best. I'm sorry. No, Ricky. I have to disagree. Uh, Yorkshire tea, Tetley tea, they're very nice. I do like them. Uh, but PG Tips is number one. So it goes like this. PG Tips, Yorkshire and Tetley. Uh, that, that's the way to go. 
uh, for us in Japan, uh, for school classes as an example, when it first started, all the kids were sent home um, because they weren't sure. Because like most viruses and colds, the kids get them and they spread them. But then they found out it wasn't affecting the kids as such, and it was more adult based. So the kids went back to school with some special requirements, like they have to wash their hands when they get into school. They have to use alcohol before they enter any of the rooms or the school premises. Um, they have to wear masks. Um, and some classes, they've got boards and panels. Uh, they can't share each other's food and things like that. So there are certain requirements. Like if I teach at a school, all the kids are in the same room with me. Uh, they're just wearing masks and that's all. There's no barriers. If I teach in another school, we're all sitting on the floor, semicircle around me. They're wearing masks. I'm wearing masks. We use alcohol before we go in and come out the classroom. Um other places I've been to, like if they're eating as an example, they've got barriers between them. So it looks like a prison cell, uh, like a reception area where you're talking to each other, like you see on the DV kind of style. It's interesting. But here the kids have been back at school since day one, basically, so not been off at all. So I can't understand why other countries' schools, the kids are not going to school. I really don't get it. Yeah. I'm not sure why there's such a big difference between the two. It must be just different systems. Uh, and the kids are not tested regularly. Uh, they don't do the tests like that, so not at all. So. Bevington said, Kaki Mai, so many more. Thanks for watching, Ricky. Good night. Bethington, good night, and thank you for joining. Um, you're welcome to chat any time you come, by the way, so please do join in the conversations. It's always nice to hear people's viewpoints and expand on topics as well and share knowledge. So don't forget you can chat as well as just listening. So anytime. But good night to you. In Finland, school children have no homework. I know. I heard about that. I saw a wonderful uh, documentary where they talked about education in Finland. It's very practical and hands-on. And it's a very different process. Uh, and... I I kind of liked what I saw there. It's as a teacher myself, um, not like a full school teacher, but um, as someone who's been teaching for like 20 years, I'm very much into hands on learning. Uh, and I prefer that a lot more. Uh, even as a young kid, when I had to sit down and listen to a boring teacher, I hated it. But um, now that at that time, I was more of a, like a, a tactile, hands-on learner. And I prefer that one a lot more. And welcome, by the way. But uh, good night, Beth. Good night, good night, good night. Oh, yeah. I just heard an oh, yeah, and I don't see what that was for. What was that? Was that a subscriber or something else? Don't see the message coming up. Oh, well. Um, mm, 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 mm. Peter said it would be so cool to be in Australia and going to school with Daisy. No, Peter, you'd be in different parts of the country studying together. It would be the same. Um, and because you're in school together, she would have to ignore you and say that she doesn't know you. Um, so, yes. Yeah, it's much better this way. Rocky, hello, by the way. He's added his code into the chat, so add as well. Mm. My kindergarten I went to recently uh, should have been an open house with parents, but uh, they cancelled the parent activity. Many of the teachers and students were off as well because of close contact rules. So, yeah. We have close contact rules here, so if you come in contact with someone who has caught it, uh, you have to stay away and uh, not mix with other people. It's much different. Hmm. Interesting to hear what your countries are doing for different situations. Uh, COVID sucks, had it twice. Uh, Tracy, then you should be kind of like uh, partially immune from it now then. Mm, so, yes. Touch 
to it. I haven't had it. I've, I've been unwell partially, but whether it was COVID or not, I don't know. But um, you never know. Yes. Not as accurate as PCR tests, where they're now using rapid test accurate to confirm where we use the strains of PCR testing system. Okay. I have washed the dishes. Just going to watch the stream, said Jason. No problems. i got some dishes if you want to do mine as well. Yeah, I can uh, send them over. You're welcome to um, clean them as well. In fact, Jason, let me show you the dishes I was using today. Uh, the person's house I go to. She loves pottery, and she makes all her own plates and dishes. And there we go. That's one of her plates there. So she made that plate, and uh, I had a very nice cake on it as well, which was very good. That's one of her cups that she made. So her whole cabinet is full of uh, cups and beakers and whatever else, all handmade, uh, wonderful. Uh, but that was my cake I had today when I taught the class. There you go. You can see like another teacup there in the bit, just behind the drink. So uh, there's another cup I had there with uh, orange juice inside as well. So very nice indeed. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it. That was a nice cake. So, very delicious indeed. So, beautiful mats too. I enjoyed the mats. They were nice. Uh, one of my students, one of my students, so, uh, somebody got timed out, wonder why. I swear that's what my husband says to me, I accuse him of passing wind, and he said just testing the air. <laughs> I think your husband and I would have a blast. Uh, yeah, just testing the air, darling, making sure it's safe. Yeah. Oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> Creams. No. Ah, spamming. Okay, I understand. Yeah, my student, she makes all her own dishes. Uh, Tracy says she blames her children for combustible gas issues. Brady said, yeah, you would. He's always hilarious. He loves your voice, Ricky. He can always hear when I'm listening to a stream. Ah, hello, Mr. Brit. So, hello, Bricky's hubby. So, hope she's a good wife. If not, just a little bit of a bush, bush, bush once a week. That'll keep her going. So that'll put her in her place. Yep, 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 yep. So just put her over the knees and smack backside. Yep, lovely. The ladies like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yep. If you need any more uh, good tips, let's go and have a beer. And we can uh, talk about it over a, a couple of beers. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Brett. Always a fan of good spank from Mr. Brit. <laughs> oh my god, I think I might have opened up a different topic there. Got to be careful. Yeah. I only have 10 cotton fabrics for the question I had earlier. I might be able to do some if still wanted. 
Yes, Daisy is here, Peter, so be careful, yes. Mm -hmm. But I think she understands that you flirt a lot now, Peter, so I think you're safe, yes. Okay, don't have any anymore, I just used them now. Sorry, Simon, I just used them as well. Um, you're going to have to wait now till I make some more. Yeah. They were gone before I even realized. I need to make more wok products, don't I? Yes. Fifty Shades of Hay Day. <laughs> Yeah, I've read the Fifty Shades of um, uh, Hay or books, but um, yeah, they were tame. So I've read better books. Right, I'm almost done with a lot of these. I've run out of broccoli, haven't I? That's not good. Okay, okay, come on Heyday, I need to use these products and they're not being purchased, so what's the point of having so much? Okay, let's have a look. Mm. Yeah, we're good. Okay, that's as good as I can do for the moment. Not a problem. All right, let's see. No more boats down there. We've got a couple more orders there. Let's get that done. And let's go and finish off my farm pass. So we've got this one down here to do. My farm is called Fifty Shades of Haybrit. It is, Tracy. Yes, we know. Hmm. TNT, which is good. Okay, we got the time down there. Go back to sleep. Right, feed five animals. What do I need? I only need one more. So if I feed the farm animals, that should do this one, I think. Go collect those first since we're here. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Oh, farm pass goal complete. That's nice. That was a little one. Okay. Right, feed animals one, two, and three. Farm pass goal complete. That should be all of it now. Yes, there we go. And another level up. Oh, I like that one. We're now level 60. I'm leveling up quickly with these farm passes. Uh, what does we... Yes, he does, which is why we gave it to him. Love it. I can't let my audience down with my name. Yes. Yes. I think that's probably one of the best names that we've ever chosen for you, Peter, isn't it? Hmm. So flirts a lot. Yep. We gave it to Peter, and he stuck with it, and he likes it. Yes. Please tell me you've got a red house or red trees and the Quisterian stuff everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, everything been collected, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Up, oh, there's a chick needs to be done. Yeah, another chick needs to be done. There we go. Come on. Run away. Okay, farm pass done. Perfect. Now I don't need to stress this far. I can come back to it later. So that's three done. Number four. Uh, no, I have an area for my horses. Okay, all right. So Tracy, what is the level of your farm? Let's go show it quickly. So we're being asked to give it a show. So let's go do it. 
What's your level trace? Do -do -do -do. So trace, what's your level? Let me go and do it. I can show. I always forget. Bum, 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 bum. 130 something, she says. 130. So it's either here or it's the other one. Let's have a look. 130 something, she says. 130 something. And no, 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 not down there, maybe this room, 130 something, 50 shares, Tracy, 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 130, do 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 are you back on my farm or not? Hmm. 130 something, there we go, where was it, where was it, where was it? No, 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 I'm in the 140, I can't see it, Trace! Can't see it, can't see it. The names don't always show correctly because it depends if you're connected with Game Center or not. So I got asked how do I change the name on this one. So I showed someone with some photos. So I'm now stuck with a name for six months. Yeah, but also as well. Yes. We got new ones down here. What's that? Someone's got pets. And tree houses, that's nice. Guinea pig 60, that must be the other farm. Yes. Right, what have we got to do? Still got loads on this one. We only need one more. What could I do? So. I can do four more for the diner. If I do four more for the diner, that would work nicely then. Yes, three more, two more. Diner, diner, diner. Send visitor, grocery store. See visitor, B and B. See visitor, grocery store. See visitor, cinema. See visitor, nothing. Yeah, see visitor, nothing. Okay. Get these done. Yeah. No. 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 Nothing net there. No, nothing there for the moment. Okay, no. And yes. Diner. I need a diner, diner, diner. There we go. No, my town is full. Oh my god. Right, let's go empty my town. <coughs> 122. Okay, 122. I thought eight is, I thought to be like a number for wealth. Eight's considered a number. Yes. Depends on the cultural custom, though. For some places, eight is lucky. Some places, other numbers. So, yes. All of the Chinese New Year deco has a special focus. Right, let's have a look. Waiting, 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 waiting. Mm -mm. Let's go. Who's waiting? Should I send them away? I only need two more with diners. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go see. Hey, Ricky, you have so many diamonds. Buy some expansion decoration at the shop. Yeah, don't need it. Mm, don't always need it. Ooh, that one's not bad, though. So there's a tent for sale. 250 yen. Yeah, 250 yen. I don't buy things just for the sake of buying things. I buy it because I need it or want it. So, um, 
if I'm not interested in it just yet, I won't get it. So. We need the trees. Where did I put those new trees? There we go. We need these ones done too. Chop down that one, request on that one. What else? Done, 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 done. Egg as well. We need an egg. Barns full up. Oh dear. Let's go serve that one. That'll give me some space in my barn for some eggs. There we go. And now I need one more of the bread. Typical. Mm. Do you know what? Let's go do them first. Coffee I can't do. Okay. That one I can do. That one I can't. That one I can. Come back. Have you wanted the diamond packs, Ricky? Yes, I did on my big farm. Absolutely. So they are an essential purchase. What am I doing? That's the one I want. We need coffee. I can't do coffee. Don't have the machine. Simon, so I'm going to go now. Thank you very much. See you next time. You take care. Thanks for joining. <laughs> that BMB is taking forever, isn't it? So, do you know what? I'm going to send away, send away, send away, send away, and send away. And now, what I do need is diners. If I can get two more diners, I can do this. So, Astrid's got one. No, one diner. And personal trade capacity, only one! No, 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 no. Damn it. <sighs> I need to upgrade and I can't. Oh well, let's go get the diner. And to give me one. Can you tell Ricky I'm level 22? Okay, I see it. I'll go and have a look in a second. Hang on a second, my dear. Let me go and have a look in a second. We need to get the diner done first. And I need one more. There we go. Getting close. Kimberly, hello, by the way. Somebody just said hello to you, so I'm responding as well. So, good to see you here as well. Right, now, let's go and have a look. 122 is very different than 130. Uh, XO, hello, by the way. Right, 122. 122, 122, not on that one. 122, 122. Okay, there we go. Feral Phoenix Tracy. Let's go have a look. Enforcing veganism on everyone. I like vegan food. I like meat as well. I like vegetarian food. Mm. In some ways, vegan food is healthy. In other ways, it's not healthy. In some ways, it's very, it's less uh, environmentally problematic. But in other ways, it's also as damaging. So, depends. But this is Tracy's farm, by the way. And she has a nice now. So there you can see what she's got as a layout. She needs a redesign, Trace. You're going to have to put a bit more time and energy into doing that one for me again, my dear. So get redesigning. So there you go. That's Tracy's. Yeah. 
Yeah, the plant-based burger. Okay. Here in Japan, Peter, they've got uh, KFC is doing uh, plant-based chicken now. And it looks like 3D printed meat. It really does. I'm like, <clears throat> Now, I like vegan food. I think it's very delicious. Uh, I like artificial meat. I think it's probably very delicious as well. Like, at the end of the day, it's still food. Um... I like eating things that you guys may not enjoy, but um, I still like a nice steak. I really do. Mmm. Marie likes books. Hello, by the way. Right, that man, if Devin at Young Canadian, right? The match went five hours. My sister in law left that one too. She had to work and was over it. Okay, don't know what that one is. Have you heard of that vegan teacher? Couldn't tell you. Don't know what you mean. Why does it need redesigning? Why does it need redesigning? It's too cramped. It's too cramped in this area here. So, and it needs to be spaced out a little bit more, I think. So, I love what she's done with her machinery down there. But don't like that area. So it, it doesn't match. So Tracy needs to match the two up to make it a little bit more interesting for me. So there is nice. I love that. I think that's really beautiful indeed. And I like the way she's done that. But over there doesn't match. It needs to change. But then again, the walls are very grey. So it's kind of connected. Pet area is fine. I like that. Yeah, horse area is okay. Please don't chop down the trees. I like the B side, but that feels cramped to me. It does. Love what she's got by the mine. Mine's good. Okay, I love the 100 tree. Um, I like what she's done here with the machinery. If she did the same thing with that down here, it would be so much better. It really would. So, that's my viewpoint. So, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Good game bit. The one was there. Get into the Keep going. Don't know what that one is. Giving, are you doing farm reveals? Yes and no, giving. I'm just relaxing and playing today. If someone wants me to come and have a look at their farm, I can have a little shifty and then I can express my views about it if they would like. Yeah. Sometimes I will like things, sometimes not. So, case by case. But uh, if I see things, yes. <laughs> There we go. Take a bit more down there. Lovely. And seven minutes till he's used. Uh, what are Peter is extra needy tonight. He's always needy. Peter's needy. He's always needy. We know that. I'll sort that out soon. Good girl. Good girl. Remember, your babe's a priority. Yeah, you can fix that up when you get the time. So. When the little ones are sleeping is your best thing. So, yes. Right, where were we? I'm going to do the diner. We've got two more to do on that one. Uh, the rest, I think, are just too challenging for me. I'm not going to spend my boosters on this one. Feeding goats is good. We need another 80 points, which is fine. So just one more of those. And that's done and dusted. And we'll hold off on that one, I think. Next farm. Last one down there. Hi, Ricky. I had a real bad week this week. My Tourette says, Megan, I got arrested and they let me go because Tourette's really bad and I was at home now. Chat soon. Ah, okay. That would explain why you are talking on your social media post. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Pratnav just subscribed. Oh, Welcome to my channel, yeah. Pratnav. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, sometimes things are weak. Sometimes things are bad, good or bad, uh, Megan. So just don't let it get to you. That's the key thing. Don't let it get to you. And uh, ignore what people say on social media if they're being asses about something. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we got another one down there, another one down there. Send a birdie on its way. Take that one too. Take that one as well. That's more XP. Another birdie down there to go. Come on, birdie. Disappeared. There we go. 
And I got a lot of points to go on that one, and relatively easy one, this, so uh, not too challenging. Mm -hmm. You said you were from WA Brett, never been to WA, can't get it at the moment, even wanted to. Okay. Yeah. With Tourette's, there are different levels. So, um, sometimes it can be easy, sometimes it can be challenging. It affects you in different ways. So, um, at the end of the day, don't let it overly stress you. Do 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 ba ba Few more to go, then we're gonna do nicely with this one. Lovely. Alright, I'm over this weather, says Daisy. So what weather have you got, Daisy? Is it hot or cold? Do you have good weather or bad weather? Here it's just cold, but nice. Mm -mm -mm. So you got arrested, did you? That sounds cool, Megan. Did you punch someone? Yeah. Did you uh, try to uh, run away? Like, no, leave me alone. And you ran for it and they chased you down. Uh, did they taser you? Uh, what happened? Tell more, tell more. Humid, hot and storms, Ricky. Ah, sounds like our rainy season. Yes, I can understand that. I can understand that. Yes. But then again, your summer is our winter, so yep. Yes. Hot, humid and storms and hot nights are the worst. I feel like I'm always sweating. Well, Daisy, that's okay. Just open the window. Or what you do is you say, Peter, please come to my country. Yeah, I would like you to come and join me in my bedroom when I'm sleeping. And I would like you to wave this fan up and down, keeping me cool at night. Um, and then Peter will be like, sure. No problems. Okay, and another one done, which is good. And we've almost done that one. We can switch over now to the next one. So soya beans. Soya beans and sugar on this one, yes. Hmm. Uh, in Denmark, we are getting the worst storms in hundreds of years this weekend. Yeah, the world is going crazy, isn't it? So all of these storms that are popping up on the radar, yes. Causing people issues. Yeah. At least here in Japan, when it gets too hot and muggy, I can go in the bathroom and just have a cold shower. Or I could fill the bath up with cold water and just like, ah, oh, it's good. Yeah, it's nice. But winter time, I just fill the bath up with hot water and it's like, ah, oh, it's good. But then when you get out of the bath, it's like, oh, this is bad. I don't like this. This is not good. Shit. Sure. Yes, 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 indeed. Right, we've got that one. That's more XP. Take that one, too. And is there more? No. Okay, chick, go away. Come on, I want to go claim my other prizes. We can get all four seasons in one day here. Mm. Feed 15 pigs. Okay, that one's done. Dairy products, chest, and popcorn. Okay, popcorn's good. Yeah, where's my popcorn pot? That one. One, two, three. Oh, better be careful again. All right, so I thought that was in danger and trashed up a room, and then the police came and I was having none of it, so I kept saying no, so I went for a police check officer. They locked me up. Yeah, okay. 
You thought you was in danger. Well, as long as you feel safe now. That's the key thing. Do, 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 do. Take that one too. And can I use those? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, soonish. Uh, is it really four seasons in one day? Mm, yeah, wouldn't like that one. Wouldn't like that one. Yeah. I enjoy seasonal weather, but not in one day. Jolene said, in South Africa lately, it's a very sunny day. As soon as you start with washing, it's raining cats and dogs. It's summer now, so the weather is unpredictable. Yeah, our summer season's like that. Yeah, our summer season's like that too. So, beautiful one moment, and then pissing down with rain the next. Yeah, don't like it. It gets hot and humid as well, so I totally can relate. I really can. England's weather's much nicer. It's either cold raining and cold uh, or it's hot uh, or uh, it's cloudy hmm, easy Megan said I've got sore feet and sore arms because of my anger yeah you need to control that one young lady you do hmm. get yourself a punching bag then that way when you feel like you're stressed or angry you can punch the bag and then you don't have to punch people or it makes it a little bit Maybe more comfortable and less stressful on that side too. Okay, right. I'm going to sell some bits I don't need. I've got a bit of a pile up in here. So there's two shovels down there. There is some TNT down there as well. And there is some dynamite down there as well. I don't need. And I think that's good for the moment. Yes. There we go. I got too many saws as well, I think. But we keep those. Hmm. Yep. I'm pretty lucky. I don't have um, as such any medical worries or concerns, so. For me, I can't often relate to how people feel when they have other issues. I've been pretty lucky my whole life. Don't get as sick as some of my other friends do. So, in touch with stays the same. I do have some medical issues, but uh, mm, that I won't go into, sorry. I just got lots of XP on this one, but what I'm looking for is actually a red chest. Let's go to my friends. Don't have the same friends with this one. That's not good. I know. What I can do. Uh, originally Germany, but most of you in World War II, so came to the US and the rest of the US maybe a Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't do it that way either, and I can't see chests. Let's keep hunting. Let's try Greg's. Does he have a red box? There's lots of goodies. But red toolbox, red toolbox. No, still nothing. <laughs> okay, you guys are chatting still, so I'll leave that beat. What else can I do that would speed this one up? I need five more down there. Can't do anything till they're ready, so we can feed those animals and get those on the go. They've got those ones down there fed as well, which is nice. 
can't do the pigs till later take those crops down there get a little bit more in there again go with the popcorn again which is six I'll open that one up as well there we go and let's have a look farm visitors will be another 85 do I have any visitors down there yeah here you go you can have those and wait a moment on that one okay sure interesting 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 we still need another 225 points we can get this done that's not going to be a problem three days plenty of time hey i got a laptop trying to work out what's needed yeah internet definitely for sure that one obs is good that helps you with lots of things Oh, that one's been done. That's nice. I could go back and do that. <clears throat> I bet I would have lived in Melbourne, Winston, Antonio, St. Carl's, Dang, Down Rangers, Naran, Warren, everywhere. You like to move around. So, is that your choice for shifting around? Your hubby's choice? Is it for both of your work? Um, is it uh, because of your family moving before you settle down? Um, is it because you live in a caravan and you travel around? Hmm. Riptide, welcome back. What's needed to the stream? Well, for me, Tracy, the key thing for streaming is either using OBS uh, or the copy version from uh, bom, 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 Streamlabs. So you need one of those two. Um, if you've got that, then you can just connect to YouTube very, very easily through the account settings. So all I use is YouTube on Safari. I use OBS to connect to my... Uh, or bring everything together. I use a QuickTime player to mirror my de device on my computer and then I connect it that way. It's actually pretty simple. I think now my Tom should be ready. Yes, he is. What should I choose today? What do we need? Some nice little goodies for. I've got lots down there, don't I? So I need some more chocolate bars to get those done quickly. It'll be easy this way. And let's get some of those on the go as well. Beautiful. Okay, I like that. And I've still got a booster, so let's go use the booster and get some more. we we'll donate, I think. We've done all those boats now, so let's go help some people. <coughs> You're stopping at 7. 7.30, Peter. 7.30. Ricky, I did your main farm. Okay, that's cool. Let's go and have a look. There we go, Linus. Done and dusted. Used to move a lot, but I've settled down in Perth now with Hubby. We used to have to move based on where we were. Now I'm staying Perth. Mm -hmm. yeah. As a young kid, I moved from London, from Brixton down to where I lived uh, and spent the rest of my life. So I've enjoyed growing up in my hometown, Hastings and St. Leonard's. It was nice. Yeah. However, I don't always have good memories of something, so... Okay, that's nice. One hour, 59 minutes for the next one. Let's get a move on. Right, let's see. Who needs some help? Right, once upon a time. Watch the video where you reviewed Faith Tone's farm and I fell in love with her farm. It's a nice farm. There's a lot of beautiful farms out there. I want to move again. If I get a certain job, that's how I'm moving to countries will work. Though, no. apply for Supercell. You can move with them. They're looking for people. So Supercell's looking for employees. They're expanding quite considerably. So go for it. Have a look at their website and then maybe you can apply for one of their jobs. That's actually not bad as a design considering everything's been done. Let's go have a look. Do you get homesick, Ricky, or are you just feeling at home in Japan? I don't get homesick, not really. Um, there are things I miss about the UK, like I miss the food. Uh, I miss being able to go down to the pub and doing certain activities there. I miss 
going to my favorite bookshop and buying books that I like. I miss walking along my home seafront. I miss going to some of the candy shops and eating. Sand. I miss buying blocks of cheese, but I don't feel homesick. Um, there's just too many enjoyable things here that I like as well. So, yes. Cat, hello, by the way. Yeah, but not really homesick, no. I, I miss my family, and I wish I could see them more often. Uh, but my life is here as such, so yes. Damo said, hi, you are a dedicated Haley player. I absolutely love to see it. Oh, Damo, I've enjoyed playing for years, and I like the game, and I have fun when I'm doing it, and I like to chat with people, so yes. Very addicted to the game. And welcome to the channel. Most of us here are addicted. We've been playing for a long time. A lot of people here go back to before I even started streaming. Or from the first streaming site. Hmm. I'm thinking of pizza too. I am. I was looking at the Pizza Hut pizza and they had some nice ones on offer. So, yes, I really was thinking of that one. Mm. So, let's go have a little shifty. What's today's pizza offer? Let's find out. So, Pizza Hut. Let's have a look at their apps. So, what are my coupons? I've got a nice coupon down there for VIP, which means I can get a good discount. So, let's go and have a look at pizza. Okay. Menu, 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 menu. Home. View pizza menu. Okay, so these are today's choices. So, they've got the Winter Morph Kazoo Laser 4, which looks very nice. I've had it. It's nice. There's the Shrimp Gratin Pizza, which looks very delicious. I like the look of that one. Uh, there's the four series. We've got uh, Goshi So, and then the Lovers Mix. Uh, Kotowari 4 is nice. The Gourmet Mania is nice. I've had that too. The Mozzarella Family of Four looks good. I did enjoy that one. The Oishimi, Oishimi looks nice. The classic four I've had as well. The premium pizzas. The Toko Uma Bulogi, that is good. I enjoyed that one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's one to be banned in the chat, please. Go for it, moderators. Kill that account off. Now the stupid idiot. Do, 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 do. Thank you very much, Hez. Thank you very much. Yes, those people, they look so... Yeah, they are nice. They are nice indeed. So they are very delicious. I'm thinking of getting this one today. The Selected Cheese and Thick Cut Eberico. Uh, it does look very good indeed. There's the new ones we're doing at the moment, which has like a kind of a gratin box. Uh, pizza's unhidden. No. Okay, rehide, please. Okay, let me go do it. Okay, rehidden. Thank you. Yeah, all fixed. So these are the gratin ones, which look very nice. So a medium-sized pizza like this with a gratin next to it looks wonderful. There's the hot parties if you want to do combo. So that's what you want to do. You want to do a combo. The combos look great. They really do. Yeah. And then there's the side dishes as well. Very nice indeed. Oh, I like that. They really, really do. And then there's the drink and the desserts if you want different drinks. Tempting, tempting, tempting. It really is. So I'm tempted to have a pizza tonight as well. The one I had recently was this one. Oh, my stomach's talking now. Hang on. Yeah, it's the pizza I had recently. Ah, there we go. That's my recent one from Pizza Hut. 
Look at that. That's the one I had recently. That was so good. It was so delicious. <gasps> yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Let me give you a zoomed in appearance. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my God. Wow. 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 So who wants to come and visit me in Japan and have pizza with me? Yeah. Hydra says, sorry to say, hell nah. Yeah. Or maybe you might prefer this one. That's much better. That was a good meal the other day. Look at that raw liver. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <gasps> yes, look at that. That was so good. Oh my God, I enjoyed that one. I could go out and enjoy a nice shaky nickel dinner now. I really could. I like my food. Do indeed. Do indeed. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Lovely jubbly. Okay, let's get back to gameplay. I live in town where our biggest store is Walmart and it's closed by 8 p.m. I love the country life, but I miss things like ordering food. Wagyu is delicious. It was, yes. And that piece cost me 1,800 yen for four pieces. Sure. Uh, you guys need to donate more so I can eat more delicious food and share photos with you. So please do. Yeah, please do. Donate more to my channel, watch more of my videos so I can get lots of money and then I can buy even more delicious food because it was good. It was really, 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 really good and I loved that. That blue deco is very nice indeed. There we go. Uh, when people say about having fruit on pizza, it's gross. I remind you of the tomatoes. Ah, fruit. Ah, fruit on pizza is fine. All I like is cheese and Hawaiian pizza. Uh, cheese pizza is good. Cheese pizza is good. I like cheese pizza. Especially when it's uh, different flavors of cheese mixed together. That's the best. Mm -hmm. Riptide, Ricky, I have stuff in my shop. Okay, line is 96. Donate money to Ricky so that you can eat more food. Yeah, yes, 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 absolutely. Donate more money so I can buy food. And post more photos on my Facebook as well. So, yes, definitely. All right, Peter, not making Ricky suffer for entertainment. I will send you money so you can order a Spice Mexican Peter again. <laughs> it was spicy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was spicy. Yes. Wagyu is very nice. I like it. Wagyu beef is nice. It's good. Yes. We have Domino's too, but... Um, when in relation to the food, it depends on the place. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. All right, I'm being told to come to 56, and there are some goodies down there for me. So let's go have a look. Fifty. Uh, what happened? Okay, do that again. Fifty six line. Let's see what you got. Tracy said, I better go as I've got loads to do by Okay, Tracy, see you next time, my darling. And you have a wonderful evening as well. So I will see you another time. Okay, you take care. You take care as well. 
Do, 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 you need to decorate. Oh, we got an empty farm. There's so many design choices I can do with that one. Oh, yes. I could. I wish pizza restaurants would do leftovers. I really do. You know, like when you have a pizza restaurant and they make pizzas like for lunch and then for dinner. And then at the end of the day, they quite often throw the leftover pizzas in the bin or whatever else. And I'm always thinking like, no, just next morning, sell it to me. And I'll come round for breakfast in the morning, cold pizza, not a problem. Mm, I wish shops would do that more often, but there's... Too many stupid rules these days about what you can and can't do. Mm. Wood fired is the best. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. I agree. I had a very nice pizza the other day at a Belgian restaurant. That was mushroom. That was very nice. I like that one. Uh, when I went to Awaji Island, I uh, had a nice sausage meat pizza there that was from a, a nice oven. And that was so good. Next time I go back, I'm going to have another one. Because they had many choices on the menu. And it was absolutely delicious. And I was thinking, oh, i got to get another one of these. But um, I had a course menu food, so didn't do everything that was available. Uh, it was my fastest Zyme drone. We're rating my other drone. Got a 9 out of 10. Really? That's nice. Yes. It is. It is. It is a shame to see food thrown in the bin. Trouble is, though, I asked a restaurant one time why they do this. Why can't they just, like, give it to people? And they said that they're not allowed to. If they give food to people uh, that's leftover food and then those people get sick, then they can be sued or taken to court for food poisoning or whatever else. Um, so for me, like it seems pretty dumb. If you've got food left over, you pack it up, you take it home. Uh, and I remember like my mum and my aunts and uncles and people like that working in places or in shops or whatever else. If there was leftover food at the end of the day, you just put it in a bag and you took it home and you gave it to your family or you, if you got loads you dropped it off with your neighbours as well um, I used to love that and I still think it's great now if I worked in a bakery I wouldn't be throwing any bread away I'd be taking it home at the end of the day or selling it for a reduced price the next day like my bakery does which is good you can, Jason. The only trouble is there's like issues with food poisoning, bits like that. So we become a society that's very stickless for rules, but not common sense. Um, so we'd rather throw things away than give it to somebody else that might need it because we think that it's dangerous or whatever else. So um, sometimes they're just as a society, we're just very wasteful. And that's the problem. We are a very wasteful society these days. They are. Like, uh, Jason, for us in Japan, we have to have in our companies emergency food and equipment. So if there's an earthquake and you're trapped in the building, you have food. It's all tinned. Uh, and the same with bottles, but it has its use-by date. So what my company usually does when it gets close to the end of the use-by date, they put it out on the table for us teachers to eat if we want it. One of my colleagues, he just says, guys, okay, um, if you don't want this, I'm going to take it to a, a group of homeless people that I know. Um, and every year he takes the survival food out to those people. Um, and he's been friends with them for years. Um, he even sits down and eats with them and chats sometimes. So um, it's great. It's all about suing companies. Um, it's like if you put flowers on your like entranceway, uh, even though everyone can see there's flowers there, if someone trips over it, they sue you. It's stupid things like this. So I'm afraid it is. It's, it's common sense is lacking. So common sense is lacking these days. We're just a wasteful society now, that's all. Yeah, which is a shame. Damn. There are many things that we could do, we just don't do. 
Like we throw away old clothing and things like that. Why? Uh, I kind of like Uniqlo here in Japan. Um, so Uniqlo here in Japan, if you've got any of their old clothing or products that you don't want anymore, like your family's got older or they've grown out of it, uh, doesn't matter the condition, just return it to them. Uh, they will take it off your hands and they can either recycle it and reuse the materials or what they do is they send it overseas to other countries uh, where clothing can then be donated or sold on uh, through charities and organizations and I think it's great they really do hmm uh, Sipera. Hello, by the way. I think I got your pronunciation right of your name. So, hello, you're a new name. Yeah, I agree with you, Jason. I agree with you, I do. So. We have places we can go to and stuff like Salvation Army or something. We do in England as well, Peter, but they won't always take it, which is strange, I feel, sometimes. Uh, I've tried to donate to some of these like uh, Goodwill places, uh, and they won't do it. And the number of Goodwill locations in the UK has increased a lot. Uh, I saw information on it recently, and I was surprised. I really was. Um, I was surprised how how needed they are these days um, it just really gets me that people are struggling so much like living here in japan i don't see so many homeless people as much because it's out of sight out of mind mentality uh, but i do see some of the guys walking around the street and sometimes i might try to give one of them some drinks or whatever else on the vending machine they won't always take it that's the problem um, so I tried with one guy and he just said no thank you. So mm. but it depends. Cold pizza's fine. I would eat cold pizza anytime. Not a problem. I eat cold bentos. Um so I eat a lot of cold food. I really do. It's not healthy. It's probably one of the reasons why I have a dodgy stomach. Um and that's why I have my medical issues. Um because it's stomach related or intestine related um, but I eat a lot of cold food you know, Japanese bentos are quite often cold so most of the time cold food is nice Jean uh, Ash hello by the way and welcome cold corn I eat sweet cold I eat sweet corn cold not a problem hey day lover hello nice to see you here as well yes It used to be that we can give stuff to homeless before, but now we have to be careful who we give stuff to. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Um, it's difficult to give things. I like what you know, Mr. Beast, uh, the YouTuber, uh, like, philanthropist in, the, uh, in America. Uh, he does a lot of um, donations and supporting of, like, uh, centers that help people. And I think he's become more involved in it as well with one of his channels. And um, I, I'm just, it's nice to see someone like this giving back. Uh, even on Twitter, Mr. Poult, um, he's been like donating and giving money to people around the world and in America. Uh, I follow him on that one because I think it's interesting and seeing people's stories and the support they offer each other. Um, I, I like it. I, I sometimes wish I could donate more. I've donated a few times to people through my channel that have reached out to me or I've been able to support. I can't do everybody and I've done charities as well. Uh, but I think it's nice. Bricky said, did I miss anything good? Just conversations, Bricky. Just conversation. Asef, hello, by the way, and welcome. Yeah. So, hello, Asef005. Welcome to the channel. Mr. Beast is generous. He is. He has, yes, he has his new channel, Mr. Beast Philanthropist. So, that's one of his new ones because of it. Um, great. Someone told me, if someone asks for money, don't give them. But if they ask for food, always give. Ah, case by case. Um, 
case by case. Sometimes money is better, sometimes food's better, sometimes uh, clothing is good, um, sometimes uh, somewhere to sleep is nice. Um, Facebook has a lot of these uh, videos where supposedly people get help. Now, in some ways, they're just goodwill stories. There are a lot of fake and artificial ones, and they tend to follow the same kind of theme. But it is interesting to watch them, I must admit. And there's a lot of uh, moral factors behind the stories as well, which is kind of cool. But uh, most of those videos are just um, to make money or to generate cash without real meaning. Uh, I like the Darman videos. Uh, he was one of the first ones I became interested in on Facebook. Um, and uh, I enjoyed watching his videos. Um, I think, uh, who was it? Uh, oh God, uh, Sam said he liked it as well. So heyday every day, uh, Sarim, he liked it as well. I think he commented on my post. So, but uh, the Diamond ones are good. He has nice messages. There's a few other people that do them as well. So it's interesting to see. Mm. 7.30, I will be finishing everybody, 7.30. I want them red lanterns like they did for Halloween and Christmas. Hey, Dre Gabby said I watch Alarman videos. I watch them all if they come out on Facebook, if I see them. So there are some good ones there, really are. I, I like the messages that he has behind things, so I really do. The world is a messed up place, but there are some people who do good out there, which is nice. Uh, most of the money Mr. B Stearns goes right back into his new videos. It's true, Riley. It's true. Uh, for one of his videos, he had uh, Brawl Stars, I think it was, do sponsorship and support for it for the... Uh, oh, God, I forgot the damn name of the movie, the TV show now. Um, the Korean drama. Oh, God. God, Mr. Beast did an imitation video of it, which was really good. And Brawl Stars supported that one. That was like a lot of money to make that. I think he said like $3 million. Hey, Travis, I think he's him for a job. Squid Game, that was it. Yes, yeah, Squid Game. Yeah, Squid Game. That was a good drama. They're going to make number two now, by the way. And then number three, probably. Yes. Uh, encouraging people or giving people job opportunities, I think, is very good. Uh, hey, the lover, my hometown used to have an organization that was set up called Extract. Uh, they had a building which they, many companies and people like myself donated towards supporting. And it allowed people that were living on the streets to have somewhere to go to have a shower, to wash their clothes, to get hot meals at least three times a week. Uh, it also gave them a postal address because postal address uh, is the key thing for finding a job. If you have a postal address, you can get a job. You can be registered. And for many homeless people, not having a postal address is the hurdle to actually doing anything. Yeah. So that's a very big thing for many people. I think they shut down. When I went back before, I couldn't find them. So I, I don't know what happened because um, I don't live in the UK anymore. I don't stay in touch with everything that happens there, I'm afraid. So, but yep, that address is very important. Uh, Cat says Squid Game Two. Yes. Right. Mm -mm -mm. He spent three million for the video. He did. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Brawl Stars sponsored it. So that's why they had the name in there as well. Right. Somebody's just said. I saw someone said, "Please come and review me." Level ninety-five. Let's go have a look. We got Champion Nom. Let's go do that one. Forty. And let's go down 95. 95 resource delight. Okay, let's go have a look. Ninety-five, ninety-five, ninety-five resource delight. Let's have a look. Yeah, we need more lanterns. We do. Um, 
there's so many more decorative pieces we could have added in i really want heyday to focus on decoration this year that is my strong request okay can't see anything chinese new year related um there uh, let's go try the town let's have a look Okay, resource. You said you put stuff down there to make it look Chinese New Year related. Uh, I can't see anything. Let's go back to your message. I used farm lanterns in the hope that makes it feel more Chinese. Okay. Lanterns, lanterns, lanterns. Mm, I don't see. Ah, oh, you mean these lanterns? Okay. Okay, the the brown lanterns. Hmm. What we really need, though, uh, for the decoration wise, we need fences. Um, if we think of the fencing that's available within the game, if we get more of those fence pieces, they're good. So like these little ones, if we could get more of these and more of these, uh, it would make my day. It really would. Even more bamboo buying that, I'd be so happy. Uh, I want to buy more of these ones here. Like uh, literally there's nothing available at the moment because they're grand. I want more of these and I want more of these. Ah, <sighs> heyday, please give me more. Okay, BR said shrimp with curry and rice. That sounds nice. That sounds nice. That does sound nice. I would eat that. Shrimp curry with rice. I had a nice stamina curry the other day, so I like a good curry too. I think I took a photo too. I have to show you. Hang on. Let's see. Did I take a photo of my curry? I think I did. did. No, that was a different one. No, there we go. That was my curry the other day. I had a stamina curry, as they call it. So that was a, a times three size. So it was gigantic. Look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful indeed? It really is. Good. Even the egg was not bad this time because they had the outside edge was cooked, which was not bad. So I enjoyed that one. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I need more fences. Can you look at my farm, says Riley. Hang on a second. I'll come and have a look in a second. Mm, another curry I had recently. Do I still have it? There we go. That's another one I had really recently as well. So, uh, hormone. So, uh, very nice indeed. Hormone curry. Yeah, please eat before my streams, everybody. If you don't eat before my streams, it can be very problematic, especially when I start showing my food to you. So, hormone curry. Very nice indeed. I like that one. That was good. Mm, did I have any more curry? No, 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 no. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Steak. Uh, hotel food. Okay, sashimi, chicken, sandwiches. Uh, that was nice. Ah, there we go. Another one from the same curry restaurant. That one is fried chicken with eggs and uh, egg mayonnaise on top. Very delicious indeed. <laughs> that was nice. BR says look good. Any curry is good, BR. Doesn't matter. Any curry is wonderful. So, you and I both enjoy good curry too. So, yes. Oh, my God. I have too many curry photos on my iPad. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Here's one I had the other day. I went to a tonkatsu restaurant. And they made me a little snowman out of the egg. So I had a double katsu. Um, and they made a little character there with um, the eggs. Usually you just break the eggs and then you dip the, the pork inside. And it's very nice. Every curry is this. It absolutely is. I totally agree. Any curry is good. Except Japanese curry has to be eaten the next day. First day is okay. It's nice. But second day is better. It really is. So, so much nicer the second day. 
It was cute. I laughed. I really did. When she gave me my dish and I saw it, I was like in hysterics. I thought it was so funny. Uh, I think I made the staff laugh as well. So I wasn't expecting it to be so cute. It was fun. I love katsu now. Katsu's good. It really is. So tonkatsu anytime, not a problem. Uh, in Japan, tonkatsu is very, very popular indeed, and I will eat it anytime I can get my hands on it. I like it a lot. So tonkatsu's nice. Is Japanese curry a comfort food? It is. Japanese curry is absolutely a comfort food. If you ask people in Japan their favorite food, most people will say curry and rice. Um, it is a comfort food for many people here. And mums make it for their kids or husbands or whatever else. Um, it's absolutely a comfort food. It really is. Uh, I think most people here would agree with me too in this country. So, mm. Even I like curry. I could eat it any time, not a problem. So. However, Indian curry restaurants are more expensive than Japanese curry restaurants. Like my uh, local Nepalese Indian restaurant, the curry is fantastic. They do all different kinds. It's very different, but more expensive. We call curry and rice curry chawal here. Uh, everyone like curry chawal here. Yeah. If I went to India, I would be eating so much food. I really would. Um, I saw a very cool video the other day where one of the street food sellers had all of these like different containers, uh, like big metal dishes, uh, and he was scooping food off one, putting it into another, making something, mixing it all together with his fingers, put it in like a piece of like a newspaper or magazine, and then gave it to a customer. And that looks so good. It really did. Uh... Some people will probably say, no, thank you, because he was touching it with his bare hands, but it wouldn't bother me at all. It looks so nice. It really did. I like hibachi chicken. Chicken's good, Peter. I like chicken, too. You can't finish. We have many types of food here. I would prill come back again and again and again. Um, not a problem. Not a problem. If I think of like Japanese food, the Japanese food has a very specific pattern of food and whatever else. So it's very different in relation to styles. Uh, let me show you something I was looking at today with my students. It was a topic that came up in our lesson. Um, and we all enjoyed it. So history, history, history. Du, 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 du. Miso drops. Oh, you're going to love this. There we go. Oh, i got to pay for that one. Hang on. And let's do this one, probably easier. There we go. Right, I'm going to show you something now that we were talking about today in my lesson. It's called miso drops. So miso paste is very popular here in Japan. Um, we often have miso soup, and it's nice. But this one's called miso drops, so check it out on the internet later. So miso drops. And it looks really, really, really cool. And basically, if I show you a picture, there you go. They are miso drops. Now, normally miso paste, you get it in like a big container. You take it out and you make miso soup out of it. And you add your seaweed and other bits to it. Uh, or you can get little sachets that you can then add hot water to, which is not so delicious. But these are kind of like a new design or new style option. And each one of those is one serving. And it has 
other bits mixed into it so when you put it into your container you add hot water so it dissolves down it would be wonderful uh, and I would so dig that one so basically you put one of those inside a cup you add the hot water it melts and dissolves and then you mix it in and it becomes gorgeous so look at that look at that lovely 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 so missile paste made into a little ball and then um, gorgeous and I like the sound of that one you could have like many of these options and then like each day they could have something different because we have like missile for breakfast lunch and dinner depending on where you go top 20 sheep food in India we did that one before BR it was good on a Friday stream and I must admit, Indian food was way better than the Australian one. I think the Australian has too many bugs and their number one food was beetroot burger. When we did American food, uh, they ate people and they had crisps as a food. And it was like, no. When we did the UK one, lots of wonderful food. Yes. Mmm. Do you remember BR, you told us to look at Gujarat food? So we did that one in the stream. That was good. Some wonderful items down there. You must admit, I would love to eat them all. Why is there any person in my family likes missile? Interesting. Well, missile drops are different, uh, but yes. Hot chocolate bombs sound nice as well, but I might just eat the chocolate. Can you bring the missile drops in stream? Ah, if I had some, I would. Um, I could do it, but I would have to get some hot water, Peter. Um, I don't actually have any to hand in my house, so I'd have to get my hands on some. Okay, right, that's a new one we haven't tried. Hang on, let's go and have a look at this one. So we like to look at food in the streams. We've got another 30 minutes to go, so let's do it. So we're going to go to my Google account, and then we're going to type in what we got there. We did Gujarat food last time. So Heyday Lover says, okay, R A J A. S T H A N I Rastani food. Mm, okay, let's see. Ah, okay, the top ten foods to tie in Rath uh, Rajasthan. Okay, agree to that one. So Rajasthan, Rajasthan. I think I got that one right. But there's no pictures, though. That's a shame. Very few pictures. Let's go and find a better one. Okay. 27 foods you must try. Let's have a look. Does this one have pictures? Oh, it does. Oh, yes. Let's go back to number 27 and come back down. Okay. We got one. We got one. Yes, indeed. Right. Are you ready, everybody? We're going to be looking at some wonderful food down here. Yeah. And let's start off with number 27. Okay, we're going to an account called Holidify. Yes, let's go do this one. Okay, all right, here we go, everybody. Uh, number one is Cal, or number 27 is Kalmi Vada. So that looks like a cookie, doesn't it? So it's crave it's a crunchy, full filling, healthy snack of melange, of course, a melange of coarsely blended batter of chana dal, so split chickpeas. Chickpeas, eh? Okay. Hmm. I like the look of that. It reminds me of cookies. That looks like a cookie. I could eat that one. Bear in voice indeed. All right, number 26. Let's have a look. <gasps> Gujia. Look at that that that's a sweet dish found in during the festivals of holly and diwali oh yummy 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 so melting koya milk solids known as mawa okay that looks nice 
Yes. You can check out Dao Bati Churma. We might see some in this one. We only trust websites from CNN. I'm sorry, those CNN websites food guide have not been good for us. No. Right, what's this one? This one is Methi Bajrapuri. Ooh, that looks good. I could eat all of those now. Just give me a whole plate of those and I would like that one. I would eat that one. <gasps> nice. Next one we got down here is Amkilunji. So raw mango luanji. Okay. That looks strange. That looks strange. But I think I would have to try it. Next one down here. Oh, this one looks interesting. <gasps> oh, look at that. I've got the stupid thing at the top. So, Badam Ka Halawa. Hmm. I want to eat that. Yummy, yummy. What's this one? This one is Bundi Raita. So Bundi Raita, hmm, number 22. Okay, next one we've got down there, according to this. What's the name? Kersangari, Kersangri Rosag. Ooh, that looks nice. It's a wild berry grown in the Thar Desert. And dried beans are mixed together. That looks nice. That looks good. Hey, they love it. That's the wrong picture, is it? No, you mean they're giving us wrong pictures? Okay, let's go back to number one then. You can tell me if they're right or wrong. So, let's have a look. So, this one says Dalbati Churma, which looks nice. That's number one. Yeah, this, uh, number two is Mohan Thal. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Lalmas. I think my pronunciation's right. If not, you have to tell me. That's a non vegetarian platter. Ooh, that looks good. Moa Kachori. Moa Kachori. Mm. Oh, I want to eat. I do. I do. I want to eat this. Murchi Bada. Mohan Mas. Oh, God. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks nice. That looks nice. This channel always makes me hungry, says Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I told you. Eat before you come here. Yeah. Kachori is so famous here. We have dietaries. Yeah, I want to come. I want to come. I guess if I come to India, I could stay at all of your houses, and then you have to feed me for one week. So one week at one person's house, feed me everything. And then another week at another person's house, feed me everything. Another week at another person's house, feed me. You're going to have to feed me, everybody. Just feed me, feed me, feed me. I expect to be as fat as an Indian man and lady when I come back to Japan. So with all of the food... I think now I understand why uh, Indian people, when they get older, are so big yeah because the food is so good yes 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 americans are big because the food is awful but i think indians are big because the food is delicious looking yes and you want to eat more really do same in italy when they're young they're skinny but after eating all the pizza and the pasta you become big yeah. england our food is good and uh but not really f so fatty. Hmm. It's on my list, Cat. It's on my list. Uh, I have a friend who goes there regularly. He takes motorbikes holidays there. Uh, and he loves the place. Uh, so he goes with a few other friends and they cycle around. They stay at some of the palaces. Uh, they're up in the mountains. They ride bikes. They rent bikes when they're there. Um, and they travel around. So he recently took his uh, wife and daughter there as well, so they could experience it. Yes. 
I'd love to. Well, toss of food poisoning then, Ricky. Uh, so, Kevin, well, if I went to India, um, the chances of food poisoning probably the same as in Japan, maybe. If I went to Korea, went to another country, maybe the same. I, my problem is I have a IBS, so irritable bowel syndrome. So any food that I eat can cause me to have stomach issues. But I still will eat. I really will. So I have to be very careful of certain foods or even if the plate's been washed in water, you can still pick up bacterial germs. So there's the chance you might get nodal virus, as we call it out here, or bad poo or whatever else. Uh, it just you, you never know. The chances are high in any country. Even here in Japan, I can eat something and like be down. Piaz ki kachori. Oh, I like the look of that. Breakfast. Mm. Gate, famous food of Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Rajasthan, I think. How do I pronounce that? Rajasthan, maybe? Mm. Buy two seats on the plane, ride home. <laughs> Yeah, one seat for me, one seat for my food doggy bag to take back. I could, I can't just come to our houses, said Hayley Lava. I would do so. I know, Peter, we should do it every time. I really think we should. So, yeah, I should get two seats on the plane back. One for me, one for my doggy bag with all the food. It's been a week and I still can't believe it's gone. So, Kevin, what do you mean? Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Ka Kadhi. Uh, that I'd eat any time. Not a problem. That looks like the dish I saw being made in the video the other day that was mixed together. Jalira. Ooh, that looks good. <gasps> Look at that one. Masala. Chachash. Oh, I think that's right. Chachash. Chahash. Chahash. Masala chahas, I don't know, maybe. Bajra ki rab. Mm. Geva. <gasps> Moon ki dao ka oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Malpua. Chutneys, yep, not a problem any time. Ah, now you're talking. Now you're talking. Yes. Oh, meatloaf passed away. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a shame. I liked his music. Uh, I would enjoy that. I could have all of that just for me. But there needs more. I need a bigger plate. More. That plate's too small for my appetite. I need more of those. Yes, 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 yes. I could enjoy that. Not a problem. Not a problem. And don't need to wash my hands. I'd just be licking them clean afterwards. Oh, yes. Churma ladu. Mm. <sighs> oh, God, yes. Give me it. Give me any one. Yeah, we're back to the other ones now. Oh, that is good. I want to go now. This is why when I travel, I love to eat different food. I really do. You always want more. I do, Kevin. I really do. I'm never satisfied. There's always more I want in life. Um, if I ever become satisfied with everything, then life is no fun anymore. Uh, there's always like, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Um, is this it? No, that's not enough. I want more. So, okay, I've eaten this. What's next? I've eaten this. What's next? Hey, Devin, thank you for checking it out, Ricky. No problem. Uh, we like talking about food on my channel, so we do it a lot, and everybody gets hungry as a result. And I'm hungry too, and in 30 minutes, I'm going to go and get something to eat. I'm so tempted to stop now just to go and get food, because I did enjoy that. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Yeah, Cat said missing India. Then go back, Cat. Just smuggle yourself over. Put yourself in the box. Send yourself to Hey They Lover, and you can stay there. Not a problem, indeed.
Ah, Pizza Hut's just sent me an email with a message about uh, food. <laughs> they must have seen me in the advertisement. Which ramen do you like most? Difficult question. Uh, many kinds of ramen available here. Um, so I actually like all of them. But the best, I suppose, is probably tonkotsu ramen. I love that one the most. Um, so I like a miso ramen, tonkotsu ramen, shō ramen. Uh, there's the new modern equivalent that people have been trying, which is like a... Ah, uh, tomato ramen. But that's not quite the same, but still delicious. Yeah, I can't believe Pizza Hut sent me an email. <laughs> they know I was looking at their app and they thought, okay, let's get him in. Let's get him in. Um, mm. This is confusing watching your two platforms. It needs to be done, though. I wouldn't have a problem if it was Daisy, says Kevin. Hey, Peter, Kevin's hitting on Daisy. Are you going to accept that? <laughs> uh, he's probably going to time you out now and ban you. <laughs> Daisy's got her fan base in my stream chat, eh? So, what's so special about Daisy that I don't have? Uh, is it the looks or the shape or um, is it that she doesn't have a beard and I have a beard? So, what what makes her more appealing? That's not fair. I feel like I'm being uh, sexualized now and uh, you, you like her more because of the winky face. <gasps> no, 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 no. So, no. Shock. She has a soothing voice. So do I. I got a lovely soothing voice. Yes. My voice came first. My voice is soothing. Hey there, everybody. It's me. Today, we're going to head on over to this farm and look to see if we can do it. I do have a top three heyday YouTubers. You do? So, what's my number? That's the question. Am I number one, one or one? Uh, I must be higher than two and definitely higher than three. So, I've got to be number one. That's for sure, yes. And if I'm not number one, <gasps> why? No, 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 no. Mm. Yeah, but I do like ramen. I had ramen the other day. In fact, let me show you what I did. I met up with a friend and we went and had um, ramen at a Osho together. Jennifer, Ricky, Jennifer and Daisy. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. I'm number one. There's my ramen from the other day. Okay, here we go. So I went to a nice little, uh, we call it Osho. There's two Oshos in Japan. One is Osaka Osho. One is Kyoto Osho. And they have different chains in different places. So this was a fried prawn dish, which was very nice. So very delicious, which I did enjoy. Uh, I ordered the gyoza and 12 pieces of gyoza, which was very delicious indeed. I liked that one. This was my ramen, so a standard ramen there with a nice bit of egg and a couple of bits of meat as well. Uh, you got your bamboo and your greens in there as well with the noodles at the bottom. Lovely, it was, it was so good. There we go, there's another picture there. Look at that color. Oh my god, just look at that. Oh, that looks wonderful. <sighs> Starting to form skin as well, so I should have eaten that one faster. Mm, that was delicious. Yeah, inside that were the dumplings, so which were very nice. We had two kinds. Those are the soup ones. And that's more of a meat-based one. And then my friend had the Chinese noodles. 
apples, which were very delicious too. So do like, I do like. I don't understand what ASMR is. Uh, ASMR is like the audio sensory uh, based activity. So people use sounds. Uh, and then those sounds are stimulating or soothing. So imagine listening to whales. Uh, imagine listening to the sound of the rain. Uh, imagine listening to uh, people clicking their teeth. Um, yeah, basically BR ramen is noodles, yes. So uh, imagine listening to someone's voice and then it's uh, the, the tone of their voice. This is all part of uh, ASMR. So it's all sound based. Like even like scrunching a bottle like that is uh, enjoyable for some people. And uh, people can listen to someone doing this for hours and hours and hours and hours. On Twitch they have like uh, ladies making mouth gestures and noises which are very popular with some guys and whatever else. And other places there was people do different activities and it's all part of different it's part of sensory control and under to help people relax and that kind of thing think of like when you were a kid uh, maybe you played music in the background same kind of style helps you to work helps you to contra uh, Control your emotions, helps you to study, helps you to do many things. <coughs> mm. Basically, yes. Yeah, in fact, let me bring it up since we got the question. Let's come down here. What is ASMR? There we go. Let me bring it up on the internet for you. So, it's autonomous sensory meridian response. So, according to 2010, uh, it's a relaxing, often sedative sensation that begins on the scalp and moves down the body, also known as brain massage. It's triggered by placid sights and sounds such as whispers, accent, and crackles. So, great way for you to relax. Imagine someone kind of like gives you a massage, uh, that kind of thing. So. Mm. What is the purpose of ASMR? Okay, basically to relax. Yep. It says down here, head to YouTube and search MSR and be prepared for all sorts of videos, usually of women doing things like running makeup brushes over the microphone or even pretending to give you a massage. So, yes. Mm. Depends on the sounds. But yep. Yeah. Imagine if you have a, a child uh, in your family that's very hyper. Uh, as an example, uh, you can do certain ASMR-based activities to help that child to relax and calm down. Um, Imagine you've got somebody who can't sleep in your family, like let's just say an, an, uh, an adult uh, that's not able to sleep. Playing soothing sounds helps them to relax because it gives them a focus point. Uh, there are a lot of things. It can also be annoying. Uh, it depends on the sound, Peter. Uh, like there are certain sounds and colors and things that annoy you. So as an example, like for me, um, like this iPad, having to slide up like this on my iPad is very annoying. But I found out recently by seeing like how can I resolve this annoyance because it's frustrating me because I don't have a home button. I now have to use five fingers and place them down and pinch my screen and it allows me to control it a lot more. And I found now that by using different fingers I can uh, <laughs> move things around which is uh, not so good. So it allows me to do different things. So. And then I can access and move it much better now. So I'm much happier. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> 
think of like listening to the heyday music. Like uh, if I think of the music as an example for here, like the music is on, the sounds are off. Um, some people listen to them, some not. When I'm playing, usually my, my device is muted, so I don't hear any sounds. But when I make the videos or I turn it off, I have it in the background sometimes. Mm. Gives me the creeps. Okay. I like to listen to music. Any more thoughts about getting the iPad pen, Ricky? Uh, JPS, no. Um, I went to the store the other day because I wanted to listen to my device with a headset. And there's no headset ports on this device, which I didn't realize. So I went back to the store and I looked at like a Bluetooth headset. Um, and that was a key thing for me. Um, but there's so many choices what to go for like one that goes in the ear or over the ears or around the neck and connects up um, I want one that has a kind of a mic option maybe so I can be listening or maybe I can talk with it um, it's just overload of different ones to choose from it was way too much for me for the time I had um, I haven't looked at the pen but I'm going to go back again and try to think um, like if I get the pen what would the pen be useful for how would I use the pen that's the thing See, I don't want to just spend the money to buy a pen uh, when I don't know what I can be doing with it. Uh, uh, da, 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 pizza doesn't like the sound. Uh, scratching on the blackboard. I actually have a blackboard at my schools I teach at. And you can get those in there. Yes. Yeah, mm. and the styrofoam. I like the styrofoam. The same with bubble wrap. People like bubble wrap, but the styrofoam is a like <coughs> kind of sound. So I, I get it. I get it. I do. Some things are interesting. Some are not. Yeah. Hmm iPad is for drawing. Okay, that was my thinking too, but I don't do any drawing on my device. It's more gaming, and I like using my fingers. To... And now I've got the option of shutting down and closing down the back screen. It's more comfortable. Mm. Kevin said, is there any plans for going to Supercell again? Ah, uh, probably not at the moment. Okay, there's still a lot of restrictions. For me, for leaving Japan, I couldn't come back. So foreigners are still restricted for coming in and out of the country. Um, so a lot of people here blame the foreigners for bringing a disease in, but we're banned from traveling. We're not allowed in and out of the country. So as such, no. Um... For traveling overseas, um, it's not something I really want to do at the moment, even though I do want to do it. I don't think Supercell will be organizing any trips at the moment. Um, I think most of their stuff they're doing is kind of like online or international that way. So people are staying in their places and not moving around. But it would be nice in the future. I hope they do another one, especially for the heyday side. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe some of the new Heyday YouTubers can come and join us as well and we can meet them. And maybe some uh, others from the community. Um, it would be nice. I use the I use it much for drawings. Has hairs. Okay. Uh, Cat doesn't like the sounds either. BR says drawing. I only fish Heyday. Hopefully once COVID is cooled down, they can do another Superstar trip. I hope so too. Yeah, I want to meet up again. I do, I do, I do, I do. So, it would be nice. But I want more people to come, though. Not just the seven of us. I'd like to see a larger group. Uh, maybe some players as well from around the world, from different neighborhoods and communities. Uh, maybe some other content creators that are in the system. That would be nice. There's a few more that have been added in that are part of the system now. But, yes. Mm. Could be very nice indeed. I would like it. There have been a lot of changes, that's for sure. Riley says, can I come and have a look at his farm? Okay. Yeah, i got to go back and do the cooking video again for baking a cake. We need to win a game. Yes. Newman said, Ricky, is there also Valentine without Diamond Decker Packs next month? Probably. Probably Newman. 
Um, for the heyday now, there's non-diamond deco packs and there's diamond deco packs. Valentine's is coming very soon, so my guess is yes. Mm, if there's deco packs coming and it's Valentine's related, uh, what's it going to be, I wonder? So maybe there'll be a Cupid statue added back. Maybe we might see the Valentine's wagon that could come back. There's also the cute gate archway that looks very beautiful that could be brought in. Those are Valentine's. There's the heart bench, which I love. That could be nice. There's the rose heart as well, which is very pretty. Yeah, there's those wonderful heart fences that were introduced as well uh, they could be brought back in but again we'll have to wait and see if they do it there's the lovely fence which is uh, also very nice as well uh, which was very popular with many people so maybe 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 they might bring those back yeah i don't have all of the valentine's deco because i missed out on some pieces so uh, I'm limited on what I can show, but uh, maybe there were some diamond packs that I couldn't get uh, in the past. And if they come back as deco packs, I will grab those uh, and I will be very happy to see them indeed. They will. Mm, what else Valentine's was there? I don't remember now. Uh, there's the bloom bench, there's the wooden sign as an example, there's some possibilities, uh, maybe they will bring those back as well, uh, we might better buy those, I don't know, but I hope so, I hope so, baking video was fun and my team won, yes, <coughs> love the hell, sinky stream, speed of breakfast stream, I enjoyed doing that one, that was nice to sit down and breakfast with everyone watching. With better tech, I can do more next time, which is nice. Uh, wish you could stay out for the other lives, Hazy, but difference of time, job making possible. Yeah, okay, let's go back. Somebody said, come and review me. So let's have a look. Yeah, where's the message? Where's the message? Okay, 60. Let's have a look. We got time, 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes, let's have a look. Then I need to go and buy dinner. Now, for those of you who know I play another game, I'll be on my second channel tomorrow from 9 till noon. And I've got quite a bit of giveaways to give away as well, so I've got some catching up to do. Okay, can't do the butters. Yeah, we got the Chinese decoration. Oh, look at that. You got three fence pieces or three bushes down there. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm a jelly belly. Yep, yeah, I am. So in answer to your question, Newman, probably yes. Probably uh, Valentine's. Yeah. Lena, hello, my darling. That's okay, but I'm afraid you've only got eight minutes left, though. Sorry. Z, hello as well. I'm afraid there's only eight minutes left of my stream, and I'm going to have to stop. Uh, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Lena, yes, you're late. Z, hello. You got big belly, Ricky. I have, Jason, yes. So look. Wide. I'm kind of pregnant. So yes, I, I think I must be at least... Uh, Nine months pregnant, maybe ten. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like. You got no crops there. Look, even your animals are looking down. Like, where's the crops? Where's the crops? We're missing the crops. We're not looking at the crops. Need to feed your animals. Oh my God, they're all walking around asleep. But Chinese decorations, nice. Yeah. But I think they will do Hallandine, Valentine's. I hope so, because there's ones I missed out last time. I hope they bring those back. But then I have to redesign again, so maybe make this all into a Valentine's picture. Yeah, that could be fun. Definitely Santa material. I think so, too. I think so, too. I make a wonderful Santa. If we think... Hang on a second. Let me go back to my photo. What have I got? down there?
Okay, where is it, where is it, photos, and albums, and where is it, where is it, everything is too big now, where is it, where is it, okay, here we go, where are we, okay, there's a photo of me, you can see there in the back, I'm not a skinny guy, I'm a big guy, so I'm sitting down here, so you can't really see what I look like. Uh, I'm like a big hairy giant compared to everybody else. So, And there's Phoebe at the moment, who's actually unwell, so please remember. Happy Chinese New Year, Ricky. Well, thank you very much, and the same to you. Yes. I wouldn't design in Valentine's style, it's just heyday. Valentine's designs are good. So, what other ones down there? There's the whole team. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm the big giant behind. Mm. Yeah. I enjoyed that contest. That was good. We definitely need to do it again. Really, really do. They were behind the scenes photos. Yeah. We know they had no chance. Memorable video. It was. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Wish I had that camera. If I had that camera, I could have been, have some fun making videos. Oh, yes. But yeah, you can see I'm not skinny. Um, I have a rather rotund beer, uh, body. Mm, da -da -da -da. Maybe that was the heyday one as well. Hang on, let me see. Let's see if I can show you a side photo of uh, business class. Very nice indeed. There we are meeting everybody. Yeah. There's the lamp that broke my head. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have a look. There's a photo of me just standing there with, uh, there we go. Yeah, you can see how big my belly is there. Not changed. Not changed. Still look the same. Everybody else is like three times smaller than me. So. Oh, that was so much fun. There's me with just a t-shirt on. So, yeah, you can see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, indeed. Oh, I miss those. They were delicious. They really were. I ate so many of those. Oh, my God. I want to go back again. <sighs> Wonderful, indeed. It was a good event. Ah, there's my merchandise I got to take back. But they wouldn't let me keep the chicken. They wouldn't let me keep the chicken. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah, before COVID. There we are. There's everybody. Still one of the tallest. Hmm. There's Nick squashed in there. So thinking, yeah, let me out. I'm stuck between the two ladies. I'm stuck between the two ladies. Yes. <sighs> Look at that. So cool. And breakfast. Oh, I missed the breakfast. Oh, God, now I'm getting hungry. Before COVID, basically, yeah. It was basically before COVID. Just before. Uh, Supersite's not banned. He got his channel back. He had issues with YouTube. He had issues with YouTube. So, yeah, there's Ruse and I being naughty. So you didn't see that. So yes, that was a naughty, naughty post. 
So, and then he grabbed my beard, so yes. It's funny. I tried to steal the cow, but I couldn't. Um, I want that cow. I do. I do. wanted the sheep too. And she gave me strange looks when she saw me bending over it. So, yes. Yeah, I want it. I want to take the sheep home. That would be so cool in my house. It really would. Those were the streaming kits. Everybody got those. I already have mine. Did you like the food? I did. I did. I did enjoy the food. Very much so. Very much so, Lena. Even the heyday food. There's all the food from the heyday game itself mixed in there. So, wonderful. If you want to see my photos, they're all on my blog, on my Facebook page, everybody. So you can go and have a look and enjoy and then uh, see what you like and uh, have fun. So, yes, indeed. Hmm. By the way, Greg's is a toilet. That's a toilet. And uh, there's all the plushies. Look at those. Uh, me and the plushies together. So I have all of those. Hmm. Yep. Wonderful time. Love to do it again. <clears throat> I really would. So if Hey Dave ever wants to invite me back again. I'm coming. I'm coming. Bring me back anytime. Right now, everybody. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop. It's now 7.30, which was my time for the day. It's just been gameplay. We've just been playing. Remember, you've got that beautiful decoration that's available within the game, as you can see from the picture. If you do want to use it, please do. Uh, as I said, Phoebe is also very unwell at the moment. There's a post on my Facebook page. Leave a message there for her. And she will be given it, and she will see it. So you can post your best wishes to her there. Uh, but either way, I'm afraid I've got to go. So it's time for me to stop my stream. Uh, thank you for joining me. I will see you for my next live stream on Tuesday for Heyday from 9 till 3 o'clock, probably 1 o'clock again because of work. Uh, but Or I will see you tomorrow on my second channel uh, for Food Street. So come and join me from 9 till noon. Uh, couple of hours but either way i'll see you next time thank you for coming today bye everybody